What's happening, world? Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Coming Out Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun, here at Where Media Meets Studios in conjunction with VJTV, Feral Films, History in the Making Entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions. You know, it's Friday, uh, middle of November, the 18th. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, Thanksgiving next week, you know, where everybody sits and celebrates the annihilation of the uh, aboriginal uh, inhabitants of this continent. And we got uh, Indian in our family. <laughs> Wait, stop calling them Indian. They ain't Indian. Okay, they're not Indian. Indians live in India. Them, Native Americans, aboriginal, melanated people. They're not in Rome. Indians. <laughs> we not in Rome. Fuck Rome. So, uh, what's happening, in the world? Another episode. You know, we're here tonight, and uh, we're going to keep it play as always. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves to you tonight. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Black Rain. I'm just out of the West this morning. Nah, what's up? It's your boy, Caro. Check this out. It's your man, Mac Rain, y'all. Big Twine. What's up? Yeah. It's your boy, Donnie Fresh. And as usual, it's your boy, Camouflage. K A double M in the building. Uh, tell everybody where they can find y'all at. I mean, y'all just saying y'all names. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, you can find me on Instagram. I don't use Facebook because uh, I got that's my original name. I don't want everybody know my name. Tell them but, what your name is on Instagram, you know, sir. Instagram, Big Twine Music, Ten. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because we got everybody. Yeah, all, and people, you know, some people, people got East Oakland education. You know, I they got, got Roosevelt. They ain't go to school past Roosevelt. You know, they still yeah. We don't know. B I G T O I N E. That's what's up. The number ten one zero. And that's what's up. Why you got that tan on there? Well, you know why? Well, oh. you've been around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's about, brother? Um, you know, 10 streaks, I right, resilience, you know. There you go. Let's help them represent. I respect that. Yeah, so, yeah I'm one of my, my comrade right here, you know what I'm saying? They used to hang out with us and shit. Family, that's family right there. Oh, dang. So. <clears throat> And Mac Ream, M A C R E E M M U S I C, uh, Mac Ream Music 18. You can find me, Mac Ream, on Facebook uh, or uh, you, uh, anywhere, YouTube, anywhere. Um, trying to be a household name, so uh, y'all check us out. Uh, right now, what we got going on is uh, we having a, uh, these two things going on tomorrow. Yeah. If you out in the town and you're looking for something to do, you can uh, stop by New Parish. Yeah. Um, they got Sebo first on. time. Yeah, Sebo first time ever performing in Oakland mm -hmm. all these years. So he finally getting his flowers. Ball head nut. The ball he head nut. He performed right. around, but he never performed in Oakland. It's the that's, first time. That's, and that's and that's like. I can name two times he well one time he performed in Alameda at J Love. You said Alameda. Alameda. You said Alameda. One time he performed in Oakland at the Silver Shelter. Ooh, we gonna have to check. Wait, you know what to tell the truth? Right, the brother. Silver Shelter was Thank in you. San Pablo and it was in Emmyville. So yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so we go. We got to keep it geographically. geographically keep it, keep it geographically yeah. correct. Because it was because it was because it was across the street. In fact, it was. On the next block from the Oak right. Club, so it was in every. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Oh, Y'all right. right there. Right, right. Okay, yeah. Sure. Okay, hey, I was incorrect. You know, I think I'm an Oakland hip hop historian, and I was all ready to shoot that up, and then like, you're right. Mm -hmm. That was Alameda and yeah. Right. I'm not thinking about it. See, well, I ain't never performed in Oakland, yeah, and that's wild. So, I would so, never so guess. man, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's wild, and that's crazy, y'all. Today, even 30 years from he was fighting the mm -hmm. government behind his lyrics, and oh, now dang. today, he did time, time on right. So, so today, fast forward, we have artists that's doing time and really being and and the way mm -hmm. they controlling the music and what you can say. But he was uh, one of the first. He was the first. He was the first. Mm -hmm. And then after him, you see they came at Luke. So yeah. him and him and Luke was kind of like that's it was 90, kinda together. Because I remember Sibo came out what 90. Two ninety three. Ninety three. Because I think I moved to Sac in ninety, mm. and I remember him like marvelous. That if you can't get out, that can't stand the heat. That is one of the rawest songs. I'm sorry. Yeah. That is one of the rawest back and forth ever. Well, and I'm, I'm a bar spitter. I'm a pin game specialist. That is one of the rawest songs back and forth. 
between two people. Man, right, right. let's see right now. Lil Marvelous holding the torch down. Lil Marvelous. Oh, is, oh, oh my good? goodness, that's Marvelous on steroids. That's that's, that's Marvelous two point oh man. No, that's she, tomorrow. She beastie. So tomorrow, if you get a chance. Man, stop Presented by Soul B, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Marvel yeah. being there. I Soul B, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I spice money in there, too. Marcus himself was a, Marcus Marcus is is a beast. Yeah. In fact, remember when Lil' Ray was here telling that story about yeah, how they getting signed? Mm -hmm. How they got the opportunity to sign was Marvelous did a showcase for Priority mm -hmm. in uh, fucking uh, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And they got picked, Lenny and them got picked to be the opening actor, showing mm -hmm. on a female opening act, and Priority came to them. But they had some niggas in their ear. Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. They got a bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you know niggas don't be know what they talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, priority mm -hmm. telling you we'll give you $75,000 advance, which in 1995 was good money. Well, was, niggas you was you telling you. But you got in your ear talking about, oh, they getting you. You need to get $2 million. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you ain't never even sold an independent record out. before. Every so you're standing on that and they like, okay, you're drunk or whoever's talking to you is drunk. Mm -hmm. Peace. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But they almost got a deal based on Marvelous opening the door for them way back when. Right. So, so, yeah, so, much so. respect to Marvelous yeah, you know, Shebo, man. We got, the, uh, we got the official uh, after our after, uh, after, after party. Hour. Yeah, after party hosted by uh, Big Twan and Mag Rain. You know, and you know what I'm saying? My guys down in Vegas. Club and Sunday. Oh, he's saying, yeah, he's saying, unfortunately. No, no, I'm going to Vegas because I had gotten a supposed to be inside scoop that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence was going to fight November 19th. Yeah, I know. And I got tickets for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
this week. TV yeah. series on uh, two. Yeah, shot with that movie. Boy. Mm-hmm. It's called uh, uh, Evolve. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's it's a, a cast of a lot of people from the Bay Area, um, and it's it, it's it's doing all right right now. You know, yeah, it could be doing better. Yeah, come man. On. So he working on season two right now. So we gonna got got some uh, tricks up our sleeve. Yeah, I know. We did the one. scene on one of them at that uh, the one tattoo shop. Oh yeah, that's we right. We did. Yeah, I'm waiting to see that because yeah. I was like, man, yeah, you know, y'all know I dabble. You know. That was um, uh, was that what that, that was? That was a movie. That yeah, was, that was a movie. Yeah, we were doing movie. the detective. And shit. then yeah. I'm uh, working with Pharaoh too. Pharaoh, oh, Pharaoh you know, he got me. He got this face in a couple of we a couple there. of projects. So and uh. You know, like I said, um, I'm just trying to stay active in. You yeah, know. I'm trying to do some more action. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got, I got, a, I got a minor part in Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Come on in, bro. Yeah, we yeah, trying yeah. to do it. I got, mur- I got murked in this one. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, bro. It's okay. At least you was with the bad Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no part two for me. See, Pharaoh, yeah. yeah. like me, don't never let me get murked. I'll be asking to get murked. Oh my God, baby, baby, you, 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 you gonna be spread across two, three counties. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> that last one, I was supposed to get marked in because I survived. I survived, but no, it's all good. But um, I'm like I said, I'm just trying to stay active, um, as, as well as being active in the community too. Right now, right. it's getting winter time, so yeah. um, in, a, in a next week, I'm just gonna be collecting coats, going around collecting coats, covers, and stuff to just donate and just go, just go out, just go visit what's going on in your neighborhood. A lot of right. a lot of us right now, as being individuals who are a little bit older. And scared to not saying scared to step out, but we have to step out and see what's going on in our community yes. to really be to really know what's going on. Don't go by what somebody else said or somebody else. get out there yourself and get see active. Your and people. that's what I'm saying when I'm saying get active in the street. And I ain't talking about be active and be on no stupid silly shit. Get on right. some real shit right now. We Girl, in a man. we in a crisis right now, y'all. Y'all not looking at what's going on with the government. What's going on with the voting? Not a lot of people showed up to the polls as before. So it's a lot of shit going on, and it's not going really to what Effect that's gonna affect your loved ones down the road. It's gonna right. be real hard with them. So, like I said, I'm, I have a six year old beautiful autistic daughter. Man, she's nice. one of the smartest, Blessings. smartest kids I know. She speak two uh, she's Vietnamese. She know how to understand yeah, Vietnamese yeah. and Spanish. So I don't understand none of that shit. <laughs> but I she, will she's say active. This. She's active, and I'm the the ability to speak multiple languages is is a pure gem mm-hmm. from the Most High. Mm-hmm. Because the the human brain is phenomenal, right? And most people fail to understand the significance and power of the human mind, right? To be able to decipher multiple languages is a multitask than a motherfucker, right. mm-hmm. and the learned young. And one of the things I tell people in life, period, remain a child. Mm-hmm. And I say that because as a child, you're a sponge. Mm-hmm. You put a sponge in a pool, what does it do? Soak it up the water. Soak it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You all throughout life, no matter how much you think you know, you will forget. There's people who forget more than you know. Mm-hmm. Knowledge right. is infinite. You always got to remain a child. Mm-hmm. Right. But society keeps us in this yeah, constant yeah. peril state of right I gotta be the man. Yeah. I gotta I, I know this. Niggas ain't can't tell me nothing. Until right. I get man. my money, right? That's why I say in one of my songs is everybody if everybody turns to Scotty Pippen, we'll have a better living. Everybody wanna be Michael Jordan, everybody wanna be number one, so you're gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna cut your brother's throat, you're gonna stop you gonna do everything to be number one, but fall back and be number two. We did a bunch of number twos, then ain't no number one, nobody everybody keen. Right. There was something crucial that you just Good. said. As a person, I work for the county. And right now, when he said about the vote, mm-hmm. Lauren Taylor got mm-hmm. 34,000, but which isn't even 10% of the population of Oakland. It's either him and Shane Town who actually got less, but she's closing the rank gap choice. because of the rank choice. But at the end of the day, we're going to open, we're going to end up with a mayor making crucial decisions over our daily lives right. who didn't even get 10% of the citizens to vote for them. Hey, and the thing we about gotta it. We got to get active. We got to get involved. And, so, and you already know, I'm yeah. deeply connected to that race because my lawyer. In fact, your was, lawyer was one of the candidates for mayor. But your lawyer mm-hmm. is actually what's saving Shane Town. 
Because and, 5,000 and, votes and, from her would change the thing is, and here's the thing. And I can't vote for Oakland Americans. I don't live in Oakland. But I'm a town nigga all day. Murder dub representative. You know it. But what I will say, you got to understand the rules that you put in place. I am not a fan. I, I, I don't have to do with ranked choice voting. Right. But I'm not a fan of it. Right. I understand it completely. But it keeps it's a participation trophy. People who are the least popular person. Well, Libby Schaaf was popular. Was. Mm -hmm. That went downhill. But Gene Kwan some kind of way won. Mm -hmm. And out of Lauren Taylor and Shane Tao, honest to God, you could go to a lot of neighborhoods in Oakland and people would be like, I don't know who them people are. And be like, one of them is going to be the mayor. They 300 votes apart right but, now, and it's 90 percent counted. So it's going to be 200. Be. So people be like, oh, why should I go vote? It ain't going to make no difference, man. If 200 people right. in North Oakland would have said, hey, let me go get behind the brother, this thing will be over oh, with right, right now. Right, right. And I don't want to get too deep into politics, but this is something I've always said. You know me. I'm consistent as the your teacher used to tell you, nigga, you ain't going to be shit. <laughs> I'm that teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> I stay consistent. And here they say the teacher didn't tell the people that that. Exactly. The thing is, your local elections are the most important. Higher up is a different story. You'll get that at three in the moment. Because it didn't make a difference to my bank your local, if it was Biden or Trump. Right. It don't matter. Your local me. elections, yo, who's the DA, who's right. the school board, you know, who's that, the, that race is 100 who, votes apart. Who's the, yeah. all the, like, votes. your umsbudsman, yeah. all your shit that affects the shit that you do every day, those are your most important elections. That's correct. Because we just had the midterms, and society tells people every year, this is... This is the year where it has to happen. Mm. You hear that shit every election cycle. Please, I'm not telling you not to vote. Do vote. Please do because but actually if, do this shit. Go do some more. shit because if you don't vote, shut the fuck up. <laughs> because right now, 200 votes is separating the mayor. Of the who's gonna be the mayor of Oakland? For real. There's about three to four hundred people who probably didn't even get oh, bothered to even show up that day. I think it yeah. rains. Exactly. There's only a hundred votes separating who's going to be district attorney. What y'all understand is that one lady who's running to be district attorney is like, mm -hmm. niggas bipping cars. They only bipping cars because they poor. Don't even arrest them. And it's another nigga on the other side talking about three strikes for everything. Mm -hmm. Get your asses up and get involved because you can get fucked over either way. And it's only a hundred vote difference. That's for the whole Alameda County. It's a hundred niggas I know sat at home and said, oh, fuck that. Oh, Xbox. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't call of duty all day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. High fears and folks win. Now you ain't even got to go to the poll no more. They send you a thing. Yeah, you can check that shit up. You ain't even got to go buy a staff. You can check that bitch up. And mail it back. Tape it back together. Right, and send it back. Mail it back. But yeah, it's, really? a, it's like I said, it's a lot of stuff going on in there. I have a, um, like I said, I have a six-year-old autistic mm -hmm. girl that I take care of, and uh, just learning how to, um... Salute, that's ultimate just, strength, bro. I salute you. Appreciate it. Just learning how to, just being around her has helped me a lot, how to um, focus on things. That's your angel. Yeah, things that that's I need blessing. to do, you know I what know I'm what saying? I know what you're talking so, about. Um, that's where I've been at with it, and um, just trying, like I said, just focusing on just trying to be more uh, self-serving to, as a helper to. to people that, you know, in my community. We yeah, are yeah. given... Oh. We are given, uh, well, I say tasks for in layman's terms. We are given tasks on our journey that no matter how tough, how hard, or unfair you niggas, tell me you niggas out there, say it is, why me, fuck the why me and the, all that shit. You're given what you're given because you can do it. If you choose not to do it, fuck you. Now, I got you salute you, bro. Real, from the bottom of my soul. I, I got a music-related question. Let's okay. do this. Now, as two veteran West Oakland artists who've mm -hmm. been really doing this thing, a lot of people don't seem to understand that 
if your family roots are really from Oakland, they are really gonna be from Oakland, like Harbor mm -hmm. Homes, shit mm -hmm. like that. Right. Like Same at one point, black people weren't even allowed to live in East Oakland. Right. You know, but your roots oh, gonna come from West Oakland. And the thing is, is how do y'all feel that? I mean, the Black Panthers, everything came from the West. Right. Now, how do y'all feel as two brothers who make quality music and represent it? That it oh. seems like the West, when it comes to the music, ain't. In the discussion, other than rest in peace, Crusher Delic, he made some major moves, but but it yeah, seems like it's almost yeah. like. But I mean, the Who Riders literally yeah. had to go to L.A. Because and get all with delicious it, vinyl. It's, it's, it's like, like back. It's like this, Pharaoh. Uh, West West Oakland really yeah, just steady mobbing. Um, yeah, steady mobbing. Uh, bomb shelter, DJ Duro, and all them like it's that's what it says. Well, a lot of good music comes from there, but the West was always represented. What, but West Oakland never got put on. I don't think they were represented to the level knew. of the talent that was. It was never. There. It was never discussed as West Oakland when, when when it was okay. Put it like this: yeah, when, when an that. artist from West Oakland is presented, it's an artist from Oakland. Right. You know, when an artist from East Oakland, East Oakland in the house. You that know, was. The, uh, you know why? What? what why is that? Because we didn't come together. West Oakland artists as as one. All of them. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. So the East, they back each other. We didn't do that. Yeah, we had, we had more. It we used actually, to be more. Yeah, right out. out the, yeah, right out after that. Why y'all watching? Yeah, we was on our own. Like, and then you got people that really didn't step over you to get where they gotta go. Yeah, because it was a lot of talent that that came out the west, but it just seemed like to me that it didn't. Like the Who Riders went down and got on with Delicious Vinyl, while they was bumping the shit out of that song on LA radio for sure before Kim Hill. Lightweight got on it because the radio has been the player. It's just like the, the lot of talent that didn't get the I, same I level as recognition. Radio was black as fuck. Did. Back in the day, I don't. I don't listen to regular radio. Oakland, period. A lot of, um, of we got to support us. Yeah, yeah. Oakland, 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 we got to support us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot of back then, though, like I said, and I give it to the East. The East, they held it down for each other. For sure, they did. And you got to realize a lot of old gist of it all. A lot of, a lot of West Oakland. We had a bunch of West Oakland rappers that were real good. So just, you know, one person get on, it's like, I gotta I stay on, they ain't gonna help the other people that, that show them the way. You know, or most, or you know, East Oakland had a lot of big homies. That's another thing like that, that the West didn't really have a lot of big homies that's gonna put you on and really trust you with that bread to bring you back. See, it's a different mentality it's from West Oakland and East Oakland. You are absolutely West, right. West Oakland, <laughs> like, to us, and growing up in West Oakland, East Oakland was falsy, and they had a bigger crowd. They had, West Oakland, I mean, East Oakland been always West bigger than West. always been super grimy. That's it, man. And I don't mean that in a negative no, connotation. No, it's always been that. Cause this it's been, 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 I remember... So, when I was going to Roosevelt, yeah, West Oakland was different. And I'm just speaking from a childhood experience. When I was going to Roosevelt, 12, 13 years old, West Oakland was a different country. Because, and that's not, and like I said, I don't, there's no negative connotation in this conversation of what I'm saying. It was just different. And I had partners who... From here in the desert, I fuck with who fuck with catching the West, and I would go over there and be like, "Damn, this shit is different." Right, right. It was cool. Right. I never had, I never had issues anywhere I went. But we also knew not to fuck around. Over well, there. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't I, exactly. It's to my point. I didn't do shit in the other areas. It was like, but now uh, I came and blame it on the mind, not the heart. Folks had a car wash on uh, West MacArthur back in the day, and we used to go there. Like I was twelve, thirteen. I used to do what I wanted when I was. Was it, the, car, was it the one on Market or the one on Martin Luther King? I mean, the uh, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Yeah. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Back in, I'm like I said, twelve, thirteen years old. Exactly. Before all that, though, I said 12, I'm 47. I'd be 48. Mm -hmm. I used to be a nigga at the best. I, chips. I used to go out there stuff. back you then. You break them down and we cook them. You know, you could stretch them out. But it was man. different. But oh, yeah. me and my yeah. folks, we used to go out there and fuck with folks who was over there and did shit. We had to watch the, the car wash, chilling, hanging, and. And it was like, damn, these niggas is way different. <laughs> it was a, but it was cool. Who owned it? Was it Pimp? Was he Pimp? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to talk on too much. I'm not trying to talk on too much. But I'm just saying. I, I, I noticed that the difference in where I was from and raised and over there. And I was like, damn, it's really different. And we was 
And I, 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 will, I will say our own fault, you know, ownership. You got to own your right. shit. Right. We were taught systematically and geographically, them niggas is them niggas. Right, right. Until they come down and get to know them. Until they teach Right. right. And, so when I, and, I, and that's right. why I'm saying. Right. When I was young, that I was... From, from Garfield to whatever, like, them niggas, but that's, them that's, niggas. That's but I went and experienced some shit and fucking with niggas because like, we went and hung and I never had a problem. But I was like, I had everything telling me, man, them niggas is everywhere. Them niggas different. Yeah, they was different. Yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, I think more West of them niggas would come to the East than East of them niggas would come to the West. Mm-hmm. Right, right. But like yeah. he said, because it, it seemed like that. Because, because, it, was, because it, it was a small group of so, the West Coast population it was like, that was doing hell of shit. And it's but then there was in, a whole way out. lot of West Oakland so that looked, you could walk through it like a track. and chill and actually well, stuff Oakland. like, damn, these are some nice Victorian homes. Yeah. Like, hey, bro, exactly. It was what it was. But see, one thing I can say about West Oakland and East Oakland both, and like I said, I got family on. I got, family, I got hella family from the east. Exactly. Come, Likewise. So, so it's like, but the only thing I can say back then is everybody was a little bit more together mm-hmm. than what we are right now. It's, right. You could got a, like if you had a problem back then, you could have got on the phone and asked somebody people. And by the time by the end of the night, that shit gets squashed because you find out, man, that's such and such brother, and that's 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 somebody. That might be your fucking cousin. cousin. And in the end, that's your cousin. Yeah, uh, somebody some shit like nigga, that. Nigga, your daddy but fuck with. But now, my so auntie Wooly, nigga, we it's cousins. So separated that it's so separated that I, um. I hate to say it, but it's right now. Even what's going on in, in some of these areas is it, it's, it's family against family. And the side people whose friends of the family are the ones that's getting into it, that's carrying on the shit. But it's family against family, and that shit is ignorant to me because when it, it, when it all comes down to we all related some kind of way, third degree, man. We were by third, you know, by separation, but seven, we all degrees we, separation. Seven, six degrees of separation. We all related some kind of way. And, 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 it all that's, comes and that's what's fucked tree. up. That, and, and, exactly. So it's all it's all it's all just um, crazy how society is right now and how we how everybody's looking at everybody. You know, uh, music used to be like you said. The music used to be about music when I was growing up. It was a uh, it was it was t- he was telling how it was. You got those stories broken down to you how it is on this side and how it was on this side. Even from the East Coast, from the hip, the hot, the hit, mm-hmm. those cold words like you know step, 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 like walk, like so. It's you got the communication if you understood the lingo. Mm-hmm. And, and right now, like I said, we need to take it back to what these these platforms was for. It's really for communication and keeping us informed on how yes. we should move yes. and live. So, you know, and, and really be a, a force of who we are or, or find out who you are. I start, uh, I, I got comfortable with myself and I, and I like, I'm, I'm 48 years old. So I got comfortable with myself just a couple of years ago. And just to be like, I really found out who I truly was, even just being just me. It just hit me one day like, man, What's up, Slim? you know, uh, you, you, you know, as a, as a young black man, I know I ain't no ugly nigga, so I was trying to fuck every broad I you know what I'm saying? So we do. But at, but I've been married for the last six years, right? Mm-hmm. And I found out it's something that uh, being faithful is something you can do. Like it's all a choice. Like and that you can you can do. But I'm saying yeah. that what I'm sure. saying. Now, it's all a choice though. <laughs> and, and and but but it, but, it, but it took me this long, man. I, I, I man, I ain't gonna even lie. I told myself, I promised myself, I'd never get married. I don't give a fuck who it is. Or I, ain't no pussy, ain't no bitch worth me sacrificing how I feel myself. You feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, and I feel. And then look at you. But look Play at you. Ah! That cake got snatched off. That's, that's, that's what we fast. That's what we fast. But it, it's because. Cut Cliff Hustle. Cut Cliff Hustle. Right. Yeah, but you know, but that just depends on the one that you think. Because there's probably been 50 rides that were like, okay. How the fuck did right. he do right, right over there? Right, right, right. And he right. just straight and I had some dog good beat. And I had some good ones, like for real. I had some good people in, you know what I'm saying, in my life. And, and these women just, uh, uh, just. You know, I, I apologize to y'all because I know y'all watching now because y'all y'all still hate. So you go hate to watch to see what I'm doing. Hopefully we grow up. Is a yeah, but at the same time, I, and I, I apologize because I'm a different person than I used to be. I'm uh, I'm different than I was yesterday. I'm you can't than apologize than I was. for what dude no, did. No, no, no. no. At the end of the day, you right that. No, no. At the end of the day, it's not your fault for not knowing what you know 
now that you didn't know when you didn't know oh, yeah, you didn't know. That. For that. In fact, them accepting you like that back then meant they was enablers. So it's just as much their fault as they <laughs> See, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I like that. Oh, I said, I, I get it, but I'm not going to 100% co-sign that. But what I'm going to say is, we learn. It was the mentality. We learn because, once again, like I said, when I was younger, even I'm from the Dubs. Look at Funk Town. It's only so many blocks away. Mm -hmm. You're taught and shit is um, you ingest it. I call it food. Right. Whether good food or bad food. Right. You eat because you got to eat to survive. Mm -hmm. So the shit that you ingest and digest is whether it's media, spiritual, psychological, metaphysical however you feed yourself it's always constantly being fed to you now you can block the shit off but we know we're all can honestly say we've been systematically given the wrong food as youngsters on um, to to uh put our vision to slight people of a different Geographical hood that's different from mine. Mm -hmm. Spiritual affiliation that's different from mine. Mm -hmm. A psychological manifestation that's different from mine. We've always been fed bad food from the onset of our birth. Okay. But that's how we get it. We gotta learn. We gotta, we gotta exactly. Learn. And it's not our fault for not knowing what we don't know when we don't know. What we don't know until we know what we do know. But there's a button there too, though, because when we do get to the stage that we do know, mm -hmm. we've been on a certain pattern and lifestyle for so many years that that's our comfort zone. They right. call it dysfunction or whatever. But even when I got woke, so to speak, or conscious and knew that a lot of things in my lifestyle were my, that was still where I was comfortable at, and I was also surrounded by kin folks and homies who was comfortable on the levels too. So even though when I knew these things was wrong, I knew this behavior was wrong, mm -hmm. I was so locked in that when I would even make efforts to try to break out from whatever I was doing, it seemed to be damn near impossible. So I just go back to what it is I know. And comfort zones kill dreams. But you know, that's, yeah. just, that's timing. It's all timing with everything. Mm -hmm. You just don't, it just don't up and happen for you. Right. Yeah. It's all time and it comes in, you know, it comes when you're ready for it. Exactly. So I got a question for y'all. It just does, it just happens. So I got, I'm an artist, we got three other artists in here. Mm -hmm. I want to know artists. from y'all three, what motivates y'all as musicians? What motivates y'all? What is your purpose of doing music? What, what, That's right, Slim. What, what, what is it? Well, you know, it's just a... Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's inbred, you know what I mean? It's something that we all was raised on. Mm -hmm. So some people do it, some people don't. But you know, the motivation is what you heard, what you what you seen, all that's motivation. It gives you what you want to do. Like, man, that's tight. I want to I I learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. That's just part of, you know, we are all right, over again. We came up on that. So that's the start of the motivation, you know what I mean? Or you might see, Somebody you know, like man, I want to do what he's doing. This, that's yeah. you know, like it's it's in you already. It's just you bringing it out yourself. Yeah. But but it takes it does take motivation from other uh, other, other people or mm -hmm. other rappers or yes. you know or because you, you know like you got your own style. Like nobody got that style you have, you got. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't you ain't you ain't went away from that. You know what I mean? That's that's who you are as a rapper. And that's why I give you your props because you got your own style. Sure. And you're not sure. trying to take it from nobody. Just this is how I feel about it. This is what I want to bring to it, mm -hmm. and that's the best thing. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want that. Uh, and another thing, you don't want people to say you sound like this or sound like that. Uh, you want to have your own. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. to right. you back yeah. off of Fudge when he's saying, "What's your motivation?" I guess you're saying, well, "What's your motivation as an artist?" But I was just talking to a white dude at this film mix the other day, and he was like. I was like, oh, I got a message to make movies on this and that. And he was like, no, you just do art for the sake of art. There you go. Do you there you and go. I said, and I told him, I'm black. 
I don't have that luxury just to make shit to make shit. It gotta be saying something. Right. Or I gotta be right. hooking my folks up. It gotta right. have a purpose to right. it. Do y'all exactly. feel like y'all music gotta have some well, purpose, you know, or you just doing put, it to be doing it? I put. I see in the beginning, it's never like that. It's just on the fact of making the putting together rhymes. Like that's that's the beginning. All but the then it gets to a point scene. where you know you want to start making sense with it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that's that's the part where you wanna you wanna send a message mm -hmm. after that. You know, like kind of it's hard to just start rapping and start making putting a message in it. Cause when you first start rapping, you're trying to figure out that. That's like what a whole process in that. That's that long. Yo, hey, you, you gotta yeah. your bells. You gotta learn yeah. how to rhyme first, and then you, you, then you gotta, gotta be clever to enough to add a message to, to it. it. You wanna send a message. That's the whole. I wanted to be know? clever to yeah. where but mouth to ear. Like, you yeah. know, like, when I first started, man, my, man, I can't really remember it all, but, man, that was way back in 80s. Uh -huh. seven, six, six, seven. Six, yeah. eight, seven. None of that yeah, shit made sense. Around. It didn't make sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was just like some bullshit, just a bunch of shit. <laughs> man, like, man, you just all over the place, you feel me? But right. it got to a point where, like, you know, you gonna come into that on your own, too. Like, making it, like, oh, I gotta make sense. For me, it's, it's for me. It's more so. It's more so um, therapeutic thing. Uh -huh. at this age, like because I've been doing it so long and I ain't made the money that I thought I was gonna make. I asked God a long time ago, let me make some rap money, he, and He did. He, I swear He did. So I get my thirteen dollars every month. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So he, I wasn't specific about what the, what the price was. So he, Friday, he, he, for sure. So he he gave me my little. Uh, but now, just being honest with you, it's more so uh, at where I'm at with it. It's more so therapeutic, and it's so, um you know and happen and happen. And just so happens, some some something good come out of it. But it's more so just me getting in there. This is like my um, my journal, or just for me to you know get it out. Yes, here you go. So you know, like they say, we as men, we we hide, we hold our feelings and, and everything. But this is just my release. So I need this is something for me to find the outlet, and I do it now. But it so happened, like I said, like you said, timing. Timing is a is is the perfect fit. I don't think I'll be able to be as as where I'm at, not saying super successful, but I'm comfortable enough and wise enough and got enough knowledge to where I know how to navigate through things to, to kind of make it. So, and so, and back then, like I said, it was, if back then I wanted to be the best that I want, I'm going to be the hardest MC, ain't nobody better than me. Now, I don't care what he spit, go get whoever, dig up whoever. I'm right. in, So that, back then it was that. And I didn't understand the business part of it. And a lot of artists jumped yes. in it back then, didn't understand the business part of it either. So right now, fast forward until the uh, digital era right now, it's easy for you to, any artist, I'm t I love all new artists. Like, I hate when people say who's the best top five. That's disrespect to every artist who stepped in the culture of hip hop. That is disrespectful. Right. So we gotta stop trying to say who the best because it ain't no best. Everybody is an artist. You ain't gonna tell Picasso he better than Van Gogh and you wouldn't go. They don't do that shit. They don't do that shit. They, that's art. Your art is your art. Whether you find something that ain't as appeasable to everything else. Some people like peace. Some people like carrots. Everything gonna be appeasable for you, but it's the they art. They both going chicken soup. Right. <laughs> but it's art. It's art and you have to be able to accept the art and... We need all artists to be stay creative. Cause somebody gonna spark something that's gonna be something that's gonna change the world. Like exactly. like what Pac said, is gonna he don't he, he, not does, he gonna be the brain. He gonna right, spark right. the so brain. You gotta just you gotta just stay active in it. Like I said, anything you do now in life, just stay consistent. That's all. Consistency True. gonna win. Consistency gonna win every every time. All day. So every let time. me ask Fresh, what's your motivation? What's your shit? Just like these two brothers said, like therapeutic therapy. That's for sure. Like one of the biggest ones. And then the streets motivate me. Mm -hmm. The uh, lifestyle, the fame, and then money. Really, I looked at it as like a hustle. Like if I could make money off some shit that I don't mind, like that that I love doing, and it's like one of the best jobs in the world. But most like one of the most important things that like motivated me with rap and music period is bars like sh like shizzle was talking about like yeah. i like to dissect the lyrics Thank bars punchlines and shit that's what like kind of drew me Bell, in when, when i was frog. hearing shit that like work, made me you. twist my face yeah, up and I shit made me like damn like that type of shit and i'm like yeah i could i could do that shit so that was like my main motivation just bars like real like lyri lyrical like lyricism just but you know the main thing is yeah. You love to hear yourself over a beat. 
Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. Pretty much, much it. Pretty much it. Yeah, so I'm 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 gonna take it back because rapping, and I'm gonna go to the essence of rapping. It goes back to we've all been bagging, playing the dozens. Right. That's where this shit. That's right. Let's go to the. I'm a purist mm -hmm. with this shit. Right. You know. So when it come to bagging. You know, you can look at comedians or whatever you. That's where all this shit comes. I can like, nigga, I can intricately display some wordplay and express myself verbally, metaphysically. That'll just have you like, this nigga said what? One of the first raps I used to write, because like I said, back to bagging, because you, 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 he already he knows. We we used to film. <laughs> and, and bag sessions, even before then, uh, East Mode. I can take on a Shout out to Ron yeah. I'm absolutely yeah. that bag. But that's what it is. It's a competition. And <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> like, nigga, I'm going to murder you yeah. and do whatever. You got to be a comedian. Right? You got to be able to, you got to pull in from so many areas. And a lot of people lost the true essence of, because we get into today's society makes everything so insta famous and you gotta do whatever, whatever to be insta famous and go viral. And once and this is just my personal opinion, and I'm not a gatekeeper and nothing, I'm just a black uh, oops, damn I call myself black. Like the power. Ah, I'm just a king with an opinion that you'll get at three in the moment. We put ourselves in a position because it's competition. Because we've all been competitive because we're raised on competition. We're all pit bulls. I'm going to use that analogy as reference. Makes a poodle. <laughs> I, 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 I get that. But we're raised, we're, we're raised, rather how wrong it is. Once again, it's something you'll get at three in the morning. We're raised on the savageness of uh, complete annihilation of our <laughs> opponent. Correct. Correct. Complete annihilation. Correct. Once again, like Correct. I said, Correct. complete Correct. annihilation. You can annihilate your opponent respectfully, and you don't have to do all the extra shit. Trust me, I'm an expert. I will dissect you. Uh, but society taught us that the right way is the wrong way. Mandalorian. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? Yeah, you get it? I'm, I'm there. But we, we fell into this fucking trap mm -hmm. to where I, I have to demolish you. And don't get me wrong. There are some, some instances where you have to demolish completely. I think Tiff got something to say. Come on around here. Tiff, come this way or that way. Oh, you're coming to get some drink. Oh, it's still good. Let me save it. Well, you know, uh, I, I feel you on the competition part, but I, you know, like, I never been that type of, I never been into that type of rap. Though. Mm -hmm. Like, because that's a, that's a, that's a type of rap. You know what I'm saying? And that's, something that, that's something that I ain't never really been into. You know what I mean? Like, that's have fun. Yeah, like, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't me. If, if somebody wanna battle, if they try to battle around me, I'm gonna look at them like they crazy. <laughs> that, ain't my, that ain't me. I ain't even into that. No, ring, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm, just, just, I'm, I'm, different, I'm a different character. I take shit. I, well, I, 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 you don't take it personal. Like, you can take it like, personal, personal as an artist. I never right. take. It's like, like, oh, you got me. Now I gotta get you back. Exactly. And you, know, you just wordplay is wordplay. There you go. There you go. It's like we used to rap chat. Like rest in peace, my cousin Biagi. Next month is your shit. Love you to death. When we was Roosevelt Garfield. And even all, I know a bunch of niggas who had bars, and I'm not necessarily saying rapping, just witty motherfuckers. Like I said, I we it, whether walking to school, going to going to Tony's liquors, Ed's liquors in the Dubs, you got to. I take it back to the penny candies when you spent the dollar, you got to get them hundred pieces, pieces of candy yeah, back in the bro. day, and you sit there and motherfuckers will bet who got who on the shit, and junior high. High school, the bag sessions. Mm -hmm. That's where this shit come from. It's that yeah, yeah. back and forth woody play. Yeah. 
word ism, spism, spasms. You know what I'm saying? But don't uh, don't get it wrong though. Like you know, like <coughs> when I when I first started making sense and making songs, it was like uh, you know, it was a lot of comedy in it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. like my first album I had, like it was uh, I got the white shit around your lips. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It was about mm -hmm. you know. You know what it's about. Exactly. Yeah, I take you know, the first song. Freak of the Week. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta be the you Freak of the Week. Comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, one of the first songs I, re I used to even do covers. You know, I used to take a song and put your words in it right. and be like, nigga, I, nigga, this is what it do. That's right. how everybody's <laughs> Back in the day, <laughs> Ghetto Boys had Trigger Happy Nigga. And we used to joke, because like I said, high school, junior high, niggas, it was fun and jokes. That's what we did. Right, right. But I did Chicken Happy Nigga. Mm -hmm. And it was just a joke. But uh, you can call it Weird Al Yankovic if you want to, because that's just what niggas did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how you uh, develop your talent, I'll say. Right. Because you was like, nigga, I can take this song, make it my own, and you're going to feel it. To the same flavor of this, and I may extend it because that's the that's the goal to extend that feeling from that song. But that's what we did. I, I like I said, I grew up around niggas. We used to bag all day, and I fuck the niggas that know we bag to this day. And I, he, yeah, I bar bag allergies. Even to the point in high school, they had a bag competition. <laughs> That's how witty niggas is Did and you was. Win, man, that's what I want to know. Huh? Did you win? Huh? Did you win, man? Second yeah. place? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> two times champ. He that look like a two times champ. That look like a two times That's official. That's official. Unofficial. Are you saying you threw up the dudes? I no. No. Yeah, you threw up the dudes. I Unofficial. But. That's the creativity of us. Right, That's right, what right, I'm right. speaking to when I say what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The creativity of us of being able to just go in and oh, oh my little brother. Yeah, the, oh yeah. The, oh, the, the, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I I did it. Hold on, look, look, look. Because this is I, I did a two-hour mixtape before mixtapes was even a thing <laughs> in the '90s. I, I yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did a two-hour mixtape, live, freestyle, no pre-written, nothing, just with the, and go. That's the shit we used to do, but it was fun. I seen a nigga in concert not too long ago. I'm glad to see blood. I ain't seen blood in hella long. He hella dry. I'm like, what's up with you, dog? You know what I'm saying? Dude say, I oh, mean, you know, she's back in the day, she talk, talk ah. hella shit. And I thought about it. Last time I seen this nigga was in... On the Berkeley High. Well, he's still big. He's still big. The 80s. I'm like, I'm thinking like, good. I'm like, I must have roasted this nigga so hard good. that like 30, uh, 34 years later, I see the nigga and I'm like, oh shit, what's up with you, blood? And he like, eating that banana. And I'm like, what, what's up with you? I'm trying to talk. I'm like, all right. No, you look at the gauge. I should be like, what? Oh, <laughs> this nigga's still you know, salty it's behind the shit that happened in yeah. 87. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, but no, but it was 1987 in front of Berkeley High, and yeah. this nigga was to killed. To your point, yeah. I remember. Oh, like, what? <laughs> you had, like you said, you had certain people, just, they was just like, nigga, I don't bag. Yeah. And you left it alone. Yeah. Man, there's certain lines you ain't supposed to cross. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. You had that, but that's. Now, I think that's the essence, because remember when you look at hip hop will be 50 next year, if I'm not mistaken. Hip hop turns 50 2023. Is that right? 2073? Yeah. Hip hop turns 50. I'll be 48 next month, Lord willing. That's what they say. That's what they say. But I'm sure you got. You got James Brown was rapping. And I was going to take you back to the the back in the twenty nines or two. It was the first I seen that video. I seen that. I seen that. You got the essence of, but that goes to the once again. I'm giving us our flowers as a people. We've always been 
as you niggas say, with the shits. Oh. We've always been witty with our shit because mm -hmm. back when we was oppressed and going through what we was, you know, our ancestors and what I was going through, you yeah. had to be witty. Mm -hmm. You found ways to communicate. You found ways. You got to. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, one thing is, you know, you said, that's how you get the women. You ain't funny. Mm -hmm. You ain't funny. You yeah. ain't get a woman. Mm. Man. Also, too, consistency, man, like, comedy. You can make a chick laugh. You can make a chick nut. But also, like going back to the history of it, like <laughs> the oppressed uh, people, hey, like we that? always <laughs> needed a point or a time when we could just laugh. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like it'd be so much going wrong that you just need them couple minutes where you could just laugh. You know what I mean? That's what's wrong with the game right now. Music, you don't see nobody having fun. That's what we're trying to do. Everybody hard. Everybody hard. Right now, everybody's a killer. Everybody mocked me. Everybody's a killer. Everybody's a killer. Everybody's a killer. Everybody's a killer. And that's crazy. So that's what we're doing. When you see our videos, you'll see us laughing, being goofy, having fun. Because that's what it's about. If you're doing this music and you quote unquote making money, why are you mad? I'm going to tell you who's at fault. It's the record labels are pushing that shit. Because, because it's the agenda. It's, it's like, it's what, is it? It what is it? Is it Highlander? When it's, there can only be one. It can't be Highlander. Man. We fall into that. When a, um, when, a, when, a, when, a, when, a, when a rapper gets killed. <sighs> Everybody's sad now. Go he shouldn't have yeah, been. He shouldn't have been rapping like about good. death. Right. Yeah. Billboard. words are powerful. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. And these companies they be having insurance on their rappers. Mm -hmm. We yeah. spoke on that. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna speak on that. But I person, have one. as not even as a rapper, as. Yeah. As a person, you should get life insurance on yourself. Thank you. A lot of people don't understand. Wealth. A lot of people don't understand. You don't need. Listen, you get life insurance. Let me tell y'all one time. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, no, some people come looking for me, but I'm gonna give y'all. Nah, my brothers is all watching. Yeah, it's fine. Listen, get life insurance. Mm hmm You don't need no GoFundMe, no barbecue, get, no fish get, fries. Get a policy for a hundred thousand. Get a policy for a hundred thousand. You do not have to die before you can use that money. Right. right. So I'm telling you. You're all right. You do. You listen. I'm gonna be quiet, but we'll come back later on. I'm gonna gang my brother. I, I'm, 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 I'm silly, I, but I'm stupid, and I don't want to be bothered. You don't know everything, but you don't have something. <laughs> I'm silly and stupid, but I don't want to be bothered. So I'm just putting it out there now. Okay. But get life insurance. The regular will get it on you. That's you got. Hey, get life insurance on yourself. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, I work for a multi-billion dollar corporation. They, they have life insurance policy right now before you even die. Mm -hmm. You that's, that's money that and they not and they cannot. It's not claim. new to the industry. Insurance company. Here's the thing. Life insurance company. It's not, but you're my they employee. The they yeah. don't want you to die. They don't want to pay that money. That's so interesting. Find every excuse the problem is, that money. So trust me, niggas. Get the insurance. And I don't mean noobing and testing. I'm gonna give you some gas. Noobs. Playing. Bobby Sox, niggas playing kickball in with a bowling ball. Right. And it, and when it comes to shit like that. Right. Niggas playing, please get this reference. Because I love kickball at Garfield. I used to, Bobby Brown and Kiki used to be the, the, the school guardians at, at Garfield Elementary. We was playing kickball. But niggas is playing kickball with bowling balls. Please get that reference. Because you can't kick a bowling ball nowhere. I don't give a fuck bro. how bro. strong your foot is. <laughs> I wish. Unless you want some broke but but his point, though, I, I know what he's saying is like, okay, I'm going to get kind of controversial, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So you got heads of record labels who's looking at artists as mm -hmm. chess pieces. So yeah. one label, they, they move they piece this way. The other label moves his piece that way, mm -hmm. right? So now what he's saying is they put life insurance on you. Yeah. Or excuse me, it's not called life insurance. It's back. called insurance. Insurance. Exactly. And just in case hey, something happens to you, get the they want to re Listen. Right, exactly. And get hit to the slaves uh, contracts. Uh, listen. And all the stuff you're doing. Right. Before listen them. to me. And they know you're going to you. go, go uh, through it's the roof not, and It's not yeah. just get record labels that do that. All, yeah. once again, listen to me, all the major corporations do this. Right. Hmm. I work, there's no one, it's not even, right. all of them do it. 
is not new. You are an investment. If I spin, and and once again, it's game. Right. Mm -hmm. I drop gems. Like my name was 24 hour knowledge. <laughs> if you work for me, which means I'm paying you, I pay into your benefits, of course I'm gonna make you pay and do all this other shit. You're an investment. Mm-hmm. On my corporation. Right, right. You're an investment. You're my employee. I need a return on my investment in case you make some fucked up decisions. Because like what? Get yourself killed? I'm spending money on training you. I'm spending money on right. That's just real shit. But what that's if he, what that's if, a game of life. What if, what if he quit? I still, while you in, in my employ, right. I need a return on my investment. That's business. What's gonna happen though? That's a business. Quit. You have to. What we need I'm just to do because you know, like a lot of shit happens. A lot of shit happens uh, yeah. when they when they quit. Mm. Or got some other right, word. and that's why a lot of the same thing, same the way all corporations put uh, life insurance on you. A lot of a lot of corporations, if you read, once again, you put something in the book, you hide it from a nigga. Uh, mm -hmm. Put it in the book instead of niggas just signing the sign here. You're now employed. Read the fine print. A lot mm -hmm. of companies and corporations. Mm -hmm. Put now, if you come with an invention while you employed under me, I own that. Mm -hmm. mm. You gotta under. You gotta I'm telling you something I know. It's not something I think. I, I've read it under my own shit. Mm -hmm. mm. That's crazy. You, are, you gotta understand this game. This well, is most not people when they get hired, they give you happy to get a job because you ain't got to be out there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not reading that. Right. You don't even want to make nobody mad. I'm not right. saying right. you sit here yeah. for three hours while I read this shit. I got this job. Right. Right. So, look, if I, I come up, if I come up with 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 a technology that would personally make me trillions, the the conglomerate that I work for. For the last 25 plus years, mm -hmm. has rights to claim my shit unless I do X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z has always been in place. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I'm not gonna call them niggas, a lot of people, let me get going on. You do Bill Cosby? People <laughs> don't get that. And you fuck up. Mm -hmm. Understand? that this is a business. You are a business. You're a commodity. No matter how much you think you are an individual, no matter who the fuck you work for, because even when you work for yourself, you work for somebody. Mm -hmm. That's just like like you were saying. Uh, uh, that's one thing we were just discussing. A lot of young artists, I would say before you even get a song, find you a good business lawyer. Find you a business lawyer first that can help you because of... Uh, People have songs and like I talk to artists and I ask them, do you know ASCAP or BMI? What's that? Mm -hmm. Like off top, like off top. Oh, I just go throw my shit on SoundCloud or I ain't shout down to BMI. Thirty eight percent. Hell, best money index. Yeah, yeah. a lot of so it's it's, it's it's crazy. Like I said, I wish I would I wish I would have known that earlier in my career instead of just doing a lot of songs. I did a lot of songs. I got songs that was on VH1, Bad Girls Club. I did that a couple of times. Uh, mm -hmm. Love and hip hop, a couple, one of the, like one song on there, and I ain't seen not a dime. <laughs> Cause Cause didn't I, didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Well, I, I, I didn't understand. Yeah. I can listen. So, I can tell y'all even more tragic story. Mm -hmm. I'm beyond that age range. Mm -hmm. Been in the game forever. Somebody recently, well not really, like a year or so ago, they sent me a contract, right? Mm -hmm. And Trina was the notary, and they was like, get this assigned and notarized and get it back to us, and you know, we're gonna deposit your money, right? So, it's like a like a 57 page contract, yes. and the notary is his cousin. And she and she like, you not gonna read it? And I'm like, shit, I know what it's saying. Like. I'm getting notary. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> right? I you know what he said. I know what it's saying. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it's saying, like. yeah, I'm getting fucked. And I know, I already know how bad they feel. The pencil whoop me on the back end, right, and reserves, right. and holdbacks. <laughs> 
So I know the only money I'm gonna see is gonna be this event. Right. So I'm not even gonna waste my brain power <laughs> reading this <laughs> motherfucker. I'm not gonna go get an entertainment <laughs> lawyer to, to look <laughs> over this thing because I know I'm only going to make this and they're going to send me that. Huh. Y'all can have it. Y'all can have this shit, right? Oh, so. Now now of course in the grand scheme of things it's nonsensical to sign contracts by reading it, especially mm -hmm. a vet in the game like mm -hmm. myself. But on the other hand, I was up against it and I know these people's gonna fuck me over. They play you. So like I needed that. some bread, fuck it. That's when they come. They when they know you need it. Fuck it. Cause you like, nigga, I'm hungry. Nigga, I, I'm, I'm, nigga, I'm feeding my kids saltines right. and beer. Yeah, the peanut right. butter and jelly sandwiches. Right. But, but I dinner. still have to say that's a problem. We right. can't be mad at the youngsters for signing these fucked up deals right. because right. even us right. vets end up in a situation where I know the games they playing, but fuck it, I was up against it. Right. Needed right. this bread, right. no, 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 no. and they like, as soon as you scan this scene and upload it. We're gonna fuck hit that. you with the direct deposit. They was right. They already fucked that. But that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, though, what I'm just saying, I understand that, what you're that saying. That's how cold the industry is. Is that even when you know they credit the industry was still cold like, fuck it. I mean, when they was given too painful. The industry yeah. been cold I since they was playing jazz musicians <laughs> with heroin. But you, uh, but you old enough to understand, you can take that hit. You can kind of bounce back. I'm just saying that you can navigate. They sent me a royalty statement the other day. You open the shit. Because yeah, I already said the shit gonna say, oh, because I already know it's like one of my movies. Mm -mm. I think we did okay. like damn near nine million streams on two. This and that. I'm doing the math. Mm -hmm. yeah. These motherfuckers sent me a statement saying I still owe you them thirty seven thousand. <laughs> 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 exactly. I remember. But I'm they said when's the next one? I'm sitting there like. I'm from the streets. I, 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 I if you owe a nigga thirty seven thousand, he ain't yeah. ask you when's the next one. <laughs> he better not ever <laughs> see you again. Yeah, yeah. He don't want to. And I'm sitting there like, y'all saying I owe you thirty seven thousand, but you like, when am I gonna give you the next movie? You shouldn't want no more movies from me. Exactly. <laughs> Shit, if I got yeah. you on the hook, nigga, why not? Exactly. Hey, if the bait <laughs> work, <laughs> keep <laughs> fishing. <laughs> But, yeah, but I'm just saying, but they, but they got the paperwork looking so beautiful that you were almost, if I didn't know them, but I'd be like, wow, this what's shit really what's ain't going that good. What did you, what did, okay, oh, everything, okay, all of us, what did your mom tell you when we was all youngs? And I mean, y'all all heard, and, 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 and please, if your mom, because we all had moms, even if it was your dad, auntie, uncle, yeah, whoever. I know we all did, but I'm just saying. I'm speaking on this scenario. I'm speaking on this scenario because you know me. I'm finna go deep. When she left the house to go to work, to party with her friends, wherever the fuck she had going on that didn't include you because we were not included. Don't answer the door. Don't answer my phone. Don't give a fuck who it is. No, you don't answer that no for no damn body. You were given instructions. You were given instructions. You, you chose not to. And and I understand completely what you said in today's society. But you have but you have so information exactly. Information is so rampant right now. You have the world at your in your palm. And what happens is, and I'm including myself when I say us, we get so complacent and thought of, oh yeah, no, nah, I don't want to do the work. We just gonna do whatever. Because you're put in a position to where, like I said, I'm feeding my daughter peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I gotta sign this shit. No, do the extra work. Because I'm gonna use Kanye. The smart, evil, genius, stupid nigga. Y'all know he got dropped for telling some wild shit and some truth shit. But sometimes you got to feed both wolves. I always feed both wolves. Why? Because as long as I feed both wolves, the motherfuckers ain't eating me. They eating you. You'll get that win. Three in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> You'll get that at three in the morning. Um... But listen to me, seriously. There's language in this contract, keyword contract, that states that even though Adidas, they dropped him like 
the chick who niggas fly out and don't fuck and be mad and you want to post the bitch. <laughs> nigga, you good bitch, you want to do... Nigga, that's your fault. You should have had it in the contract. Um, <laughs> if they drop his name, his image, he still gets paid. Still At the end of the day, what happens? I still get paid. Learn your fucking shit and stop being a fucking simpleton, nigga. That's the story. Bang, bang. Yeah, fuck three in the morning. You get that's that line. <laughs> now, that's what's up. Yeah, We allow ourselves, even though, don't get me wrong, I understand our conditions, but information is readily accessible and available mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. That's it, though, because motherfuckers see these zeros, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Zeros, hey, that's if that's I were to hit the lottery... I'd well, be filming my podcast on the spaceship. If I would hit that billion, put that money, man. If I would hit that billion lotto the, the other week, mm -hmm. we'd be filming the podcast on the spaceship. But guess what? Everybody who was in the circle would still be in the circle because all my contingencies is in place. Right, right, Why? Because right. I've been trained by motherfuckers who was here before me and after me and with me when I chose to come back here. Huh, Find again. out why you choose to be born. Say again. again. That's something you'll get at. You won't get that at 3 in the morning. Cause a lot of you niggas don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. Too much truth. <laughs> you too much truth. Too much truth. I mean, one thing, like the other day I had somebody was telling me about how they wouldn't be successful with the brain, this and that, whoop, whoop. And I said, you got to start believing in yourself, blood, because really, to tell you the truth, everything you need to be successful is already in you. Mm -hmm. And if you really stop and listen to yourself and you really rest and relax, mm -hmm. You had a grandma. You had something. You had somebody who's done gave you already the wisdom that you need. So if you stop for a second and you listen to listen to everything that you've heard in your life, you already have everything in you to be successful. You already know what to do. You already know which direction to take. But due to the noises and influences and everything of the world that drowns out mm -hmm. so many things, mm -hmm. we sometimes find ourselves in positions where we, we so far, mm -hmm. we lost and we so far disconnected from the essence, the source, the ancestors, whatever you want to call it, we disconnected. But if we stop for a second, meditate, pray, mm -hmm. do whatever, but just take some quiet moments. Need some low quartz. Fuck that. Life, nigga, old school. Uh, Need some low quartz. Reflect on your life, energy. Form Voltron. At some point, you have received all the instructions that you need to know which way to go, to know what broad to fuck with, to know who to be around. You already, you already know that, but sometimes we willfully go against. The Good grind. nigga. Oh, Why it. would I? Oh, just so I get lost it. Out here. Just yeah. like you got life. fifty million chicks that come blow you for half a nothing, and you got to work extra hard. And I'm not. Listen, I'm. I'm saying what I'm saying to present the argument of the niggas who choose the lesser path. Right. Understand that now. The lower vibration. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah, chakras is looking like. Tic tac toe, and I don't mean in a row, nigga. I just mean just all over the fucking place, nigga. Like when you nut in in a fucking vacuum cleaner. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, nigga, I'm going there. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Why will motherfuckers choose to go through all this extra shit? When you get ready, easy. They said, you ready? I'm I'm ready. ready. I let you You feel me now? Nothing in the vacuum cleaner. Where is it? Yeah, Everywhere. All right. I've never done it, but I'm just. Okay, talk to me, man. I got to shock you with my shit. Because I thank you. That's the third eye right there. That's why I said what I said. That's why I said, hey. I don't know what I said. I can't do it. That's why I said what I said. Because I'm trying to get motherfuckers. Hey, the thank you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm but I've uh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. dealt with on uh, my back. job. Come back. We deal with electricity. In in elementary school, junior high, and high school, you taught electricity follows what the least passive of resistance. Right, right, right. What do most motherfuckers do? Huh. Follow the least passive resistance. resistance. 
Comfort zones kill dreams. Yes, indeed. That's what I was about to say. One of the best things a wise man ever told me was get up out that comfort zone. Success ain't comfortable. Period. People get butt hurt when they say they don't like it. You can't grow within a comfort zone. It was everybody do it. It was thing, but due to the due to the lack of discernment and some of us um being unwilling to make the hard choices. Thank you. We can be like, we can have a desire for more. We can be woke and we can wake and wear and be like, okay, that's fucked up. This and that, I need to elevate myself, this and that, right? Yeah. But then if I'm still, if I don't got the heart mm -hmm. to be like, blood, I can't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. I hey, I can't be around you no more. Hey, I can't come around here to the family because it triggers me into this, into this, to this bullshit. Unless you got the heart mm -hmm. and the ruthlessness to make the hard choices you can be aware of all these things and mm -hmm. even have a desire for better, but you're not, you're still not going to advance. And then you're going to be even more frustrated because it's one thing to be not aware. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I'm just high, drunk, fucking with bitches, mm -hmm. high. But when you, you do like, know I know there's something greater for me. And then, but because you can't get rid of your homies or you can't get out your environment, you what? can't get to it. Now you really fucked up. You be like, it was better what? when I was. Plugged into the matrix and did What's the saying? That. What's the saying? Lord forgive them for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. When you know what you're doing, they get a price. What the boy Prezi say? It's if you knew better, better you will do better. better. Thank you. But that ain't always the case because there's a lot of us out there that know better. You ever get a letter from one of your homies in jail? Niggas be writing you seven, eight pages about how they know what they fucked up at. The system, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Niggas will be writing you shit, and you be like, damn, I should collect this shit and put it into it. Because, you know, Solid Dad Brothers, they they be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be like, hey, man, you know there was right. letters that he wrote home and put into a whole book, and the whole revolution's been based off of that. Well, but then when it. your homie touched the streets, within 90 days, exactly it's amazing. back in the dying. He'd be like, nigga, I got 100 pages from you from jail. So how you yeah, know yeah, all the pitfalls yeah, and thoughts, everything. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 then, for example, yeah. but why nigga then can't it. overcome that? Because right. once you get out here and you practice. get comfortable, what yeah. practice yeah. make? What does practice make? Perfect. Perfect. Huh? Not at all. Not, 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 not. No, 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 no. Uh, I thank you. Practice do not make perfect. No, I mean, I practice, make yeah, practice make permanent. Yeah, okay. practice make permanent. Okay. Not perfect. So whatever you practice. You was taught, because I, I remember coaches telling me, you, you, it is true, you practice how you play. Right. And they used to tell you, practice make perfect. No, there's no such thing as perfect practice. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Practice make permanent. Mm -hmm. Because if I practice laziism, not going the extra mile. Right. That's how I'm gonna perform. Why? That's because that's what I'm used to. And if I'm used to something, what does that mean I'm in? It means I'm in my motherfucking comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And practice is the hardest part. Thank yeah. you. It's easy to get in the game. Preparation yeah. prepares players the game is to perpetually practice. prosper. Ooh, you like them peas. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But I got one topic I want to get into before we go, though. It's like, I salute all you brothers. Because, and this one is um, speaking on prosperity, togetherness and shit. We had, you know, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't speak on this. The sister that uh, went to Mexico with her <laughs> friends. friends. Group uh, and end up dead. Sequilla, yeah. Sequilla, yeah. You know, I, I made posts about it, and I'm pissed. I'm beyond pissed. That's yeah. a fucked up way Speechless. to go. Right. This is this story, and and this and and I'm gonna say this first and foremost. This story is not an anomaly. It isn't. We've seen because. Social media is a gift and a curse. It's a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. It's like a chick who suck but don't swallow. <laughs> it's good and it's bad. You get that <laughs> reference. Vice versa. Females, <laughs> just flip the reference. A nigga who gets you there and stop right before you nut. Same difference. <laughs> it's a gift and a curse. 
Um, I'm you know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. I'm just saying. I don't give a shit. We know what you're doing. Right, right, right. What's up? But no. And I seriously, I was joking when I said that. But I do. That is a reference to just the disappointment. And I said that reference for the disappointment level. Society, when you look at these reality shows, right. and I'm not a fan of reality shows. I've, I've, my claim and my stance has been consistent because we sell ourselves out for materialistic bullshit. Right. You look at all these reality shows, whether it's basketball bitches, or uh, <laughs> married to motherfuckers who inject niggas with poison, desperate or uh, desperate households, or whatever. Wherever the fuck this shit is, they always do shit where, oh, let's all do a trip and go here, and every uh, one of these shows and it's fighting and it's, you, we subject to this bullshit. So how is that reality? Because it's false reality. Like some stage shit. Like it is. It is. Bro. And and you look it's at really it's, and for but years. I think the hate is real though. Oh, the hate has always been real. The hate think. has never been fake. That's the thing about it. The hate is always real. You know, that's, 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 that's but you everywhere. you have they like they stage in these motherfuckers. They call it a reality show. Right. 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 And so yeah. what happens like, is you have everything was cool. You have right. you have yeah. groups yeah. now yeah. that want to emulate. You know what I'm saying? They want to emulate what they see on TV because even we're all impressionable, whether as adults and kids. We're all impressionable. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck didn't want to be Optimus Prime when he was a kid? Yeah. We're impressionable. Who the fuck didn't want to be lying up? I go, oh, some of us did it and earned money. But, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <Yeah>. but anyway. <laughs> Right, right. I'm fucking with it, but <laughs> we. I'm so pissed that I have to joke. So please, yeah, anybody well, else, no. I have to because no. I'm hella just, just no. ah. We emulate the shit we see, and you always have girl trips. Remember that you had the uh, the Hangover movie that right. showed guys trips. I've been on guys trips with my partners, family, folks. We've done shit other countries other shit doing shit and it's never and will ever never ever come to this shit that um we've seen and this ain't an isolated incident right you see this shit happening over and over and over and once again like i was saying before i went on my you know just to keep myself from really flashing and that's the only reason i'm being comedic because I'm beyond pissed and hurt. Um, we have been hoodwinked into this whole psychological aspect of we got to do girls trip, guys trips, and the violence and the, oh, oh, you go out with this group of, and I'm speaking to the females with this because I haven't seen a guys trip. God, I'm sorry. I'm keeping it a buck. Mm -hmm. We don't do that shit. We'll be in Vegas and spin off on niggas like, man, I'm cool. All right, niggas. We'll see you when you get We're going to meet here. We're going to meet at where? Yeah. 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 We don't do that shit. Exactly. 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 My mama told me, you leave together, you come back together. Really? Show that. Show that. Hey, she taught us some shit. Question, because you know I ain't, I ain't really up on that shit. Uh, tell me what the hell was about. So this sister went on a trip with uh some of her. I'm, I'm using air quotes friends to Mexico and during the course of the trip everybody came back except for her and she ended up dead mm -hmm. they reached out to her mom and said she had alcohol poisoning mm -hmm. and, and whatnot and um and some of them, when they but got wait. back home, we went to the parents' house and was like, "Yeah, we found Told that she had been drinking stories. and she was passed out on the on the toilet, and they couldn't what revive her." Sorry. So when the parents get the body, she got a broke neck and all banged yeah. up. Top, she said, broke she neck had a broke and neck, spine, punctured I spine. Uh, the the I, I've read the autopsy report, and there's a video. 
right. of a physical altercation. Yeah, then that right. that with one of the chicks was beating up. And, and I right. hear that that, 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 that the female. Yeah, that's even Yeah, I got that. I said hands on this girl, and that's not a female from what I heard. That's what the homies is all sitting there recording. First off, and no recording trip. And why is he friends? Why is he and somebody? And we all on the trip. To fight. I'm we get into it. it up. But we don't talk. That's on some shit where Fuck I won't let y'all fight. Nobody's, nobody's recording. I'm not going to record it because I don't want no evidence. You supposed to be my fault. I mean, he I don't want no evidence. You don't want no evidence. You premeditated. And this shit with butt naked. That's not that. Because I'm already not going to be. So she's premeditated. And she premeditated. You already got your phone. You can't go on your own girl ass naked getting beat up. You're supposed to be wounded, right? But what if I think, well, she... I ain't seen it, but I'm just saying. But what? Show you. But what if I think, all right, my nigga Pharaoh about to knock this nigga out? Cause I, I wouldn't do it. Okay. okay. Well, we partners. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm just saying. We partners. But they're not. But they're not randoms. They all friends. Brother, brother, sister, sister. We don't do that shit. Yeah, they supposed to be. Yeah, they're not random. They all went to the problem. Mexico together. Like I said, the premises of my 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 statement, the gift and the curse of social media. Niggas think I gotta film everything for it to be right. That's why. Go. Yeah, but this your the, homie. The, the sanctity. Uh, hold, listen so to this your homegirl, but the sanctity. Yeah, the the, like the sanctity girl, of like, like me and Ray. We can grow up to each other since it's elementary it's school. Right. Niggas it's getting it's free right. lunches together, it's and it's we can at some point in our existence to you forty eight, and I'm about to touch forty eight, and have a disagreement and. The way I was raised, taught by the pillars of some real shit, and niggas know me, know who raised me and know who I am, and all that shit. And it's not a brag thing, but it's just a real thing because I was taught by some motherfuckers who really did some moving and shaking. That shit wouldn't happen. We can have a conversation. And no matter how mad I could get at you, that's a whole different world now. No matter, and and it's I'm niggas saying. who know and watch it be like Deshaun. I don't give a fuck. This right. shit gets dirtier and dirtier. Bro. It's shirt you shit you don't will not. I right. I don't give a fuck if I felt like pushing the green light. There's some shit that nigga. My grandmother would come out of her grave mm -hmm. and grab me by my neck and do the fucking rock bottom on my ass. For sure, for sure, for sure. Some shit, and I understand that shit because the essence of what you taught when you taught right. Like well, always, and I'm not talking about no Bible shit. When they say when you raise a child up in the way, I ain't talking about no Christian shit because I don't fuck with Caesar Borgia. Right. I'm just saying on some real shit. That's morals, man. That's, that's, that's it built in us when we were young. The fabric of our life, that shit, that commercial, the fabric of like our you, life. Shit, like, Everybody be sitting around her like that filming. That's some bullshit. called her, obviously... I don't know if they stripped her or if she was in bed or whatever. But for all that, then it's like I'm not gonna say that necessarily that they meant to kill her, but they damn sure meant to humiliate her. Yes, and that's, that's the problem. problem. That's and that's and, and how you came all the way from North Carolina to Mexico with somebody that is that one, you one person, humiliate? It's yeah. one person that I yeah. forget, like I, I exclude him because he wasn't there. He flew in late. But here's the but on even that nigga. He lied. He said he didn't. He was there. the thing. He did come in late, but he lied. He said he said he found her over the toilet like she was throwing up in the toilet drunk, and that's what he went and told her parents. She was really still laid out in that room, and he know what happened. He flew back, told her parents he found her over the toilet, like going along with the alcohol poisoning story, and then he sold that to her parents. And her parents was on some all the rest of these motherfuckers is telling different versions of the story. We're not trusting, but we know you her folks. And so you saying what they saying is real yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. And then they got the body weeks later. Uh, uh, everybody saw another video surface today that mm -hmm. disputes his what timing. He said? Okay. You know he did show he showed his um, Did he show up after she was already assaulted? Because I can't, I can't, okay, put it like this, Tim. I can't, I can't, I can't get mad at him. I, I can get mad at him if he knew ahead of time. That's boost. But as hella, now. as hella boost, if you knew ahead of time and all that. Okay. But if you wasn't there, I can't, I can't, I can't hold you accountable if you wasn't there. At, and you know everybody else there. I can't hold you accountable. If you, if you flying in 
and you got there and you like, man, what's going yeah, on? Fact. And everybody acting funny and ain't nobody saying that. It's like, a nigga version of I, I know, know what you did last but summer. But you know something going on. You know something going on. Like, I, one thing, that's one thing we got, like, in the hood. We all got this code, man. I ain't mm -hmm. no snitch, but I ain't. But I know okay. something going on. I'm going to be quiet and I'm, I'm going to step like back. That. But on some some issues, man, if you you got loved ones, you got people's man, at least go be like, but that shit was kind of like. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. My brother in law got killed. killed. Man. One of the niggas that was out there told the police he didn't see shit. He just rolled up. He then came to me and said, hey, I ain't telling the police shit. I told exactly. him I wasn't nigga, there. But I, it was nigga, actually nigga, whoop, 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 did it. But uh, them people love because one, dude man. was like, your brother-in-law was my folks. So I would be a shitty nigga to not let y'all know right. who really is responsible for that. But I ain't talking to the police. I understood that. He was a street nigga. I knew it's he wasn't going to tell police. He told police he wasn't even out there. It's but he really was. But it's he damn right. sure made it a point it's to right. come find niggas and tell niggas, this is who did it. Right. And whoopie whoopie, sure. this is what it's the right. argument sure. was over. He gave niggas the, he the, gave niggas the game. So I can understand he ain't no type of nigga that was going to go be no citizen. But he didn't come sell us no dream. He didn't come pretend to us that he wasn't there. That's what I'm saying. Blood, mm -hmm. that, blood there's that There's other niggas that was out there that, that was like, oh, nigga just pulled like, up and started shooting. And someone man. right, and then and you go back true. and go holler at her people you know? know you lying. Hey, right. Like, nigga, like, don't even lie. If you, if you if put it like this, if you ain't got, if you ain't going to come, I let them people on some real issue about that shit. Just don't say nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Just real shit. And I'm just being one of them. I'm sorry if you like that, but the best thing for you to do is is not say nothing at all and 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 but he went over and, to the house and, and co-signed the lie and, 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 right. and, and catch up with your maker about that shit talk to your maker about that shit you if you gonna do it like that because other than that they the might not be street keisha said they might on the street but they I mean, might not be street but, but, no. but there's such things as she over the street i get it all kind of thing loyalty goes beyond loyalty and care beyond the grave stand up is beyond beyond the grave everybody know right wrong everybody know right wrong you already know when something don't feel right to you or, uh, you know, so hot is hot and cold is cold. You knew that shit early. Like people put it like this, man. I, I done lost a lot of uh, family members, and, and and I'm just just being 100 on, on one issue. Mm -hmm. I lost a little cuz uh, down at the little at the at the club down. Rest I ain't gonna speak no name. Rest I lost peace. a little cuz at a club a couple of years back, about five years back, right? Mm -hmm. Hell of people out there. Hell of people know Somebody what's going on. What's up? Hell of people knew what's going on. Okay, but. I guess cousin was wrong, okay? I'll mm -hmm. leave it at that. I say cousin was wrong, and for the simple fact, cousin was wrong on that issue because it was kind of like the um, the aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put it like that. It was kind of mm -hmm. like the aggressive. And so a nigga didn't too much. Now, I don't know how to feel about that because the niggas that did it was some niggas that niggas knew. Mm -hmm. Not saying my cousins them knew them, but on the other side of being in this music industry shit, niggas hear shit. So, you know, mm. it, 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 it's fucked up. Niggas would have gave little cuz a pass on the street because, to everybody else. But, but it goes back to what I'm saying when back in the day, it's easy to get on the phone and find out who is who. Mm. It's easy to get on that. Shit like that could be cleared up in a in a three minute right. conversation. Like nigga, that's whoopie whoop and that's whoopie whoop. Nigga, what the fuck y'all doing? Yeah. That you wrong? Hey, sorry about that other cuz. I'm gonna send I'm gonna send little other little cuz home. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, I'm so tired it, of shit like the, that. The accountability it's effect on, it be like is, damn near family be on family. Exactly. There's no, there's no accountability nowadays because I, I understand completely what you're saying because we've all been wrong in the situation when right. we were younger, uh, hot tempered, going to some shit, and you could be like, nigga, I was finna do, do the fool, and you had an OG pull you to the side like. A lot of shit could be avoided. Come here, nigga. For sure. A lot of shit could be avoided. Like this boy as take you, off. As, uh, right. There's nothing, nothing I saw in that right. video. Uh -huh. That little dispute that they was having, and I don't care if he supposedly said, let me go for well, her. Nothing in that reasons. argument that should have been amongst niggas who knew each other should have escalated to no gunplay. Okay, gun so wait, hold on. I, I love to promote people's right. shit, but it's one of the reasons I don't go to hell of people's I shit. And I love sure. my people's, but it's... I'm... When you when you become grown, and I mean grown, grown. Even in that book, a lot of you motherfuckers, fuck, they say a man puts away childish things mm -hmm. when he becomes Just a man. That. Just tell that. Yes, sir. I'm not saying you can't be like wondering, do I still got it? Keisha, you know what we mean. That's because as as a as a as a human, 
your fear is the acceptance of your own mortality. Mm. Let's keep it a buck. Mm. We all gonna deal with that shit. Mm. Whether it comes with your shit staying up, or your hair going whatever, or the grays, or you getting the dad bod, whatever the fuck. Your own mortality should be your biggest fear. But I, I want to hear from our guest. I'm feeling, what, let me finish. Oh, no, no, no. I, I didn't want to cut you off. I yeah. thought you was done. No, I wasn't. But that part of it is the real shit you got to deal with. But we have that ego mm -hmm. that niggas can't tell me. No, wait till I get my money right Yeah, <laughs> Give me some lopsided jabs. I'm spinning and sending. But the nigga do be telling some truth. But I'm a... You know me, I'm a double-edged sword. I'm like a switchblade, nigga. I'll cut you both ways. <laughs> so, my question is, because I've been, I've been debating with certain people. They they gonna know who they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people say, and it's a clown-ass dude that I'm not gonna even mention his name. Because no he's a chump to me and my brother. Don't, don't names. <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, know, so, they say that rap music is the is the biggest problem with our society. No, it ain't. Uh, 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 the in the we, 70s, we so called is poisoning the people. The right they they music. can let Stephen King kill 15 dudes or another mm -hmm. uh, uh, so-called videographer film 20 niggas getting shot in the head and that's not poison to these mass shooters but yet a man can speak something which could be fixed non-fictional mm -hmm. and or fictional mm -hmm. either way and all of a sudden because we speak it it's like oh you guys are the reasons why society is like that what's your take on that i just want to know without me saying my well, take Jay -Z, on that, personally um, my take is this you know what i'm saying like uh you might get a verbal you might get a verbal illustration or something you're not you, i mean you're going to understand it, but you ain't going to know how. But you get a visual understanding. You can see this shit. You can play a video game and do this shit. Mm -hmm. it comes easy. That's what the problem is. It's accessible. Now, 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 don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like music is music. You know what I mean? It, it motivates. It does a lot of shit. But you wouldn't know how to do this shit if you didn't see it. Like, like I tell my son, I could tell you all day about shit. Unless you go do it, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I told my son, I said, man, look, you're going to have people that's going to love you. You're going to have people that's going to hate you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he had a friend that was... You know, he didn't understand why he was acting like this. And I've told you, you got to gonna have somebody that they don't love you, they don't hate you. He didn't understand what I was saying until he saw it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Pops, you know what? He was right about that. He was hating from the start. But, like I say, you got to get a, you can get a verbal illustration, you can, you can get that all day. But if you don't, you don't see what, you don't see these things, right. like, do the do. Do Arnold Schwarzenegger get that flat? Nope. No. Hey, like I'm saying, like Jay Z you said, it, Jay Z said. Do a lot of duty get that flat? Let me interject. Like you so running, busting, like you, you see your nigga brains getting shot. Jay Z said it a thousand times. Jay Z said it a lot. He said, 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 said Scarface the movie did more than Scarface the rapper to me, but is that the blame for all the shit that happened to me? Let me interject. This is something that a lot of niggas don't know because they don't travel. But let me tell you something. Two of the most violent cities in America are Chicago and Detroit. Right? Correct. Chicago didn't even listen to rap till about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. People don't realize that. Chicago I, I, listened to, it, it, they had that house music. Yeah. In fact, in Probably Detroit, the even though you got a lot, a lot of rappers now, there was a reason why you only had Eminem and Royce the Five Nine. Them cities really just got more rap. But if you go to the club in Detroit, you're not going to hear no rap. You're going to hear that, what's that? You're going to break my love. You're going to hear that beyond, you're going to hear and I'm talking about thorough niggas. Mm -hmm. The whole ghetto in that motherfucker. Nigga, niggas are strapped. Nigga, gun at the door. I'm talking about some of the most gangster niggas in the whole motherfucking America. In Detroit. Detroit. And them motherfuckers in there listening to electro music, music and, and house music. They ain't even listen to rap. Right. 
They just really after Eminem them now. You got the Ice Squares and you got you got a lot of rap niggas in Detroit. But you go into the clubs in Detroit, niggas is playing house music. Right. Chicago was Chicago was on house music. They still on house music. Chicago, in fact, Baltimore, another city that's hella grimy. N- them niggas listen to house music. What was the most infamous movie that really got? Motherfucker, wild up. Scarface. Scarface. Everybody know that. Like yeah. I said, the Scarface is. I want to sell coke. Tur- that shit turned everybody. <laughs> I ain't know if coke was no clue. I didn't know nobody that. I that that lived in my apartment. Yeah, hey. you heard me. Especially in Oakland. They got a little pile of cocaine right there, dude. They got a pile of cocaine right there, dude. I'm going to say something. Hey, two movies. Two movies that turned. It's two movies that I can say in my life that was influential that I think everybody in the fucking. in the in Oakland. Oakland or the Bay Area wanted to be the Mac and Scarface. Yeah, the true. Mac and Scarface. Those two movies that and niggas was listening to the Commodores. <laughs> Hell yeah, but nobody ain't trapped. Oh, ain't trapped. Hell yeah, New Jack City. Oh, we was already rap by the time that came. Yeah, niggas already was in it. We was already corrupted. That was just reassurance that you had the right. Hey, you know, hey, but you know what scared me? The the first movie that really scared me that was on some gangster shit. I know y'all gonna relate. That shit uh, with uh, MCA. Oh, oh Minister Society. 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 That was some more hopeless shit. <laughs> that was some shit like, man. Like, it ended up shitty for everybody. I mean, the movie's like, this my shit like. I thought I had to shoot at the screen. We got a person, we got a person in the comments that says, comments Keisha shit. says, black people need to hold ourselves accountable. So we have the knowledge in our hands but we continue to just talk about it. As artists who have a voice, how do y'all feel about what Keisha's saying? Yeah. Keisha got, she got a, she got a, she got a correct point. She got a valid point. But at the same time, Keisha, it's, it's, it's a lot of, okay, I I know artists who are, who really, who are hands-on in the community right now, who really don't do the, like I said, who don't do the camera and all the, the, the shit, the shenanigans for, just for likes. It's really for to take care of people. Like, and, and what's going on right now is um, a lot of artists is scared to be um, be themselves. And that's one thing, me. Like, one thing about me, I'm 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 Reem all the time. I'm be funny. You gonna catch me being funny. You might catch me in a bad mood. And I might flash on you, but I'm just I'm just being one hundred. You gonna catch me as being me all the time. I can't be nobody else. So she also says the street code. Uh, so it's the street code middle. stuff is what's holding black people back. <laughs> so, to, to a certain extent, I would say to a certain extent, but those are the people who are, put it like this, um, people who are quick to be um, um, led, who are quick to be led by quick things and well, fast things. Why do y'all think we have the street code? What? Street code, street yeah. code was a good thing. Street code is a good thing because it helps. Street code. And you don't think it's holding black people back? No, street code. Put it like this: street code has raised a lot of kids who didn't have no fathers in the house. Street code told you what the fuck was going on in the house. It was for a reason at first. Exactly. Now it's like yeah. it's the like structure. It was a structure in the street. Yeah. Street code yeah. was structure in the street. Be, be don't back. don't mess with don't mess with old people and children like street people use it. Street code. Go back to the essence of street it. Street code. People, you, people using it for why, why, why are hush puppies called hush puppies? You said, why hush puppy called hush puppy? Let's go so ahead. they used to take the bread, the crack, break the bread and bang it when they sleep, when they sneak out, they give it, hush hush give it to the master dog. Hush puppies is what? The dogs quiet, Street right? clothes. Mm-hmm. Understand the essence of, and. Keisha said we making excuses. I, I, I don't know. No, I, I, I understand. I can't see what Keisha said. Put me up, put me up. Pull it up on you. I like Keisha, 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 cool than a motherfucker. Keisha said, yeah, hell yeah. Jesus. I understand completely what she's saying. Definitely. No, for real. Because what happens, and this is not an excuse, but what I will say, we glorify things to the extreme. Right. Can I ask a Keisha question? Really? Yeah, go ahead. Keish. Okay. We don't we won't it's not just only the police who's being held accountable. We want everybody to be held accountable for your own shit. It's just like but it's the visual. But shouldn't it's the police like, be held to a higher level? Since not necessarily. They people too. I but can't I hold nobody just because he like, put up a suit. You ain't going to hold. Listen, not you're not going to hold the person. You, you ain't going to hold the goddamn person who works at the round table accountable. If they drop right. your fuck you're on really, your piece or fuck your order, you ain't going to hold them accountable and do all no. A person is a person. A person is a person. Whether that person put on a suit at night or whatever, that's a job. 
just, as a person, as an individual, as an individual though, you, know you have right. to be you have to be accountable for yourself. Like I said, and, I, and I'm not and I'm not no funny acting dude. Like I said, I just found myself a couple of years ago, so I can uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm comfortable to speak on it. Uh, and I really, like I said, I used to be um, I used to live for what other people thought about me or mm -hmm. how they looked at me, and and that shit fucked off my life. That shit fucked off a lot of shit in my life because a lot of decisions that I made, I know. For damn sure, I wouldn't have made. Like you know, mm -hmm. it's just because it was because I Your wanted to. Um, I guess I was missing the. Um, not saying the love, but it was just something missing there that I felt like I had to be a part of something. And now, like me, I am that part. I don't have to be a part of shit. Long as I'm in control of what my thinking is and how I conduct myself and how I treat people. That's what that's the oh, that's and, and yes I'll be accountable for everything that I've done to people like I said if I can the people I can apologize to and make right I try my best to make amends with everybody that I did wrong or fucked over in my in in my addiction or in my uh mind state that I was in at that time mm -hmm. and I apologize for that but well, rail trip said the police took an oath like I mean what and we okay mean, you but, take an yeah, oath that's what I'm saying they should be held oath. to a higher standard yeah, that's a, why would they when, yeah. when yeah. listen, 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 listen okay listen 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 if listen, I go listen, outside man, right now if I go outside right now and somebody gets stomped something. out I have the luxury of getting in my car and driving away and saying damn it sucks for them but what the police want that person to say Oh, let me stop that. Let me say that. I'm going to say this. Okay. Uh, He's saying this niggas are just going a good job. No, I, that's, 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 all, that's, all, that's all the police is doing. I'm going to say. We, 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 we were, we were good we, job. Back in the day, we didn't really need no. Okay, police. We policed our own. Police ain't nothing but a service that's by the government and city. You don't really need the police. We, if we I, get, if I get a petition and sign and say, me and 15 of my other brothers going to be right here and going to hold this community down. We're not going to let no crime go on. If we can serve that person. For 90 days, they're gonna go back and gonna reevaluate me. I'm gonna be quiet. Let me be quiet mm -hmm. because I'm stupid and I'm silly. Let me be quiet. Let me reiterate I'm stupid and silly, y'all. So don't come looking for me about nothing. But anyway, mm -hmm. if we don't, <laughs> if this, like how the Panthers did exactly. But, but see, one thing about that, mm -hmm. they okay, this is one thing where I say we fell off as far as being at that group of people. Who really needed to hold down what we needed to hold down? Yeah. Once we we don't need no government funding. We don't need nobody. I need you. You need me. Hey, bro, exactly. you gonna be on the block? So you're not just accountable as an individual. You are accountable for your brothers. You accountable? I said, fuck yeah. You accountable for your brothers? Right. If, what the it's fuck like, do what I look like? Like, like I said, together. what the fuck do I look like? Okay, I'm not trying to be funny, and no. I, uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong for it. Mm. Okay, no. the other day I I seen something going on. Hey. She wasn't my color, so I kind of let it go on. Not trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. I'm just being 100. Right. I kind of turned the blind eye. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when I got up the street, kind of like the same incident was going on, I couldn't let it go down. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, just the way I am because I've been, we've right. been, we've been oppressed to, we've been, we've been taught to hate each other mm -hmm. to where, not saying I hate, I don't hate nobody, real shit. I, I love I, you all. But I love you all. I love you all. <laughs> but at the same time, it's hard for me to see something go on. Just say if you, for instance, okay. if I didn't know you, Pharaoh, and you getting maxed out by three niggas, I'm being 100 with you. I'm just going to be one. If I didn't know you getting maxed out by three niggas, I pull up. I'm gonna say, hey, hey man, 100 on 100. Yeah. Hey man, nigga, that shit hella boozy. Nigga, don't take all three y'all to whoop that nigga. Go one on one. And call it a day. And call it a day. But if a nigga turn around and say something crazy, I'm not no stupid nigga. I'm from Oakland. Of course I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? All right. Like I said, and for y'all niggas that wanna play, I got a, I'm an arm guard too. <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm. look, I'm just you saying. Got that permit. Exactly. I'm just saying. Just, a lot of but this is, the, this is, not a lot of us. Not, but this is, but this is how we gotta good. live in these days. Everybody, if you're not a felon, go go become a, a registered arm guard so you can have your credentials and, you, carry. and and carry and protect yourself because you're trying to go home to your kids. That's the era we in right now. You have to protect yourself. 
your family, you have to protect your kids. It is fucked up that we live in this era right now, but this is what it is. But back to the point, if I was seeing you getting maxed out, like I said, I would say something just based on like, that you another soldier that I'm gonna need when, when it's time to fight. You another person that I'm gonna need some, you another person I'm gonna need, you another, like, we gonna win these times. That's me though. I'm obligated to do that. Not, the police not obligated to do shit. You obligated as a person, humanity. You obligated. That's you know what I mean? But for every good person that'll be Hello. like, hey, Hello. what's up, what y'all doing to the there? Not saying everybody doing that. There's 10 that'll be recording the shit. But that's bullshit. <laughs> but, that's them, but that's them sucking. Right. But then that's sucking shit. But once you start, once you start addressing, when they see, okay, say you see ten niggas over there looking. Yeah, but if I bounce out with seven niggas that's on some other shit, them ten niggas gonna put them phones up and convert to what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people is with the bullshit. Right. So when you get people who ready to stand up, like I said, man, everybody ready to stand up and fight, but nobody ready to lead the fight. Exactly. And that's the problem. So. Everybody who's trying to lead the fight, we get knocked down, we get caught be- behind gun, gun charges, drug charges. They, get, they yank us away from this shit, right? So what we got to do as people is be quiet. Like I said, the seven-day theory with Pop came up with, niggas don't really understand that. Listen, seven-day theory was what he was going to do. Niggas talking all that shit. What he was going to do after seven days, we was going to all have a, I tell you on this day, say the day going to be November 20th. From November 20th to November 25th, I want you to go stock up, get all canned goods. Don't use no PG&E. Don't turn on the TV. Don't do none of that. We're going to read books. We're going we gonna to do it by candlelight. We're going to use none of their fucking services for, for five to seven days. Go when we the go, go off the grid, go, yeah, don't yeah. do none of that shit. Don't do none of that shit. Go off the grid for seven days and see how yeah, this yeah. motherfucking country works. And when we pop back, they gonna wonder where the fuck we come from. Mm-hmm. And where y'all come from? Hey, y'all know some secret place over here that we don't know? Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. It's about controlling. Let me be quiet. I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm stupid and silly, y'all. Do not come looking for me. I'm still just a stupid yeah, and silly. You sound like me. West that, that three in the morning shit. Do not come looking for me. But I'm being 100. This is has a counterpoint for you. Okay, what you say? I love Keith. Hey, who is Keith? She's shaking shit. She's a little thing to show. Keith, hey, hey, man, you both on your shit, and I appreciate you. You both speaking on some real shit. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I will will, 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 uh, sum up your stance because we had these conversations. What she basically saying is the point of where we don't hold each other accountable, which you haven't said we don't hold each other accountable. So, Keisha, I understand what you're saying. So, what he's saying is on point. And in and, and this statement, the majority of us, we get caught up in the keeping it real, the ooh-wop, and the, you know, the bullshit. We don't hold each other accountable. I'll go knock the shit out of a pilgrim if he's snatching up on a, on a sister. Right. Mm-hmm. But if, if, if this nigga that I might have went to elementary school do the same shit, Oh, this has got to get in line. That's Not even that. It's and, 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 and once again, no, let me finish. Let me, let me, it well, might be, it so might let me, be, let me, 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 listen to me. I'm a, I told you, I told you. You, 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 you feel me? <laughs> we, <laughs> we fall into that. I understand completely what she's saying. Uh, uh, so the part of us holding us accountable, we do have to do that. For sure. Because, and, He's just saying no excuse. Good Samaritans get killed for being good Samaritans. Faster than anybody else. <laughs> Faster than anybody Once else. Once again, not an excuse. Mind just reality and facts. But business. we're taught to mind our business. But I'm going I'm to be... You can't mind your business. I'm, a, I'm not going to be devil's advocate. I'm going to be angels archery. And my, and my arrows hit precisely. <laughs> like Bo Jackson, nigga. <laughs> if you know a bow on a bow is archery. Yeah. But let me, I'm going there. When you said when you said the that point is you let a brother do a brother, we are trained to, to not go against each other. Another brother. But, but we have to and I, this is what like I, I feel I understand completely where she be at. The the narrative that we subscribe to with the culture, because the culture has been hijacked. Let's keep it I'm gonna keep it a fucking Right. The culture that we live and breathe and die and was raised on has been hijacked like a motherfucker. It's been hijacked. Let's keep it a buck. For real though. This, this is no bullshit. Because the 
niggas is standing like telephone poles. All this shit, he, I take it to the fucking teardrop that niggas get in jail, and oh, I mean, he killed somebody. Research what that shit really mean. Mm. Once again, the culture has been hijacked. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna go too deep with it, but the culture has been hijacked. A lot of the principles that we were taught loosely and corrupted. Yeah, they mm -hmm. have exactly been corrupted by the enemy and the false prophets and whatnot. But we still hold on to them because that's being a real nigga. Well, I mean, it's what we raised with, and it's what's ingrained, even though it's been... So, see, one thing, com, the reason why con men and grifters can move so heavily uh -huh. in the black, and so many and so many niggas can come to the black community and sell dreams from finances to health cures and this and that, is that we are trained from an early age that if you say X, Y, Z, and I say, nah, I'm a hating ass nigga. Mm -hmm. And we never want to be a hating ass nigga. Because so if you sitting there scamming the people or running game on motherfuckers, I am trained to that. We can train Niggas. from early age. If, if if pops is cheating on moms and moms say, was your daddy over there talking to that woman? I don't know. What you talking about, mama? You nope. know, took me to because we, we <laughs> even from a little bitty age, and we are trained to never go against the grain. So even when we see a nigga in the grain soda, and if we see a nigga do something wrong, and we see a nigga do something wrong, and we end up we see a and it's not an accountability issue, it's a cultural but issue. But that's the thing, we never supposed to go against each other. But that's the thing that gets me, I know we short on time. Let me just say this real quick. I know I have sympathy for niggas. Now we talk about white well, we privilege. Got to. We talk about white privilege. I have privilege, some, right? but hold about, niggas okay, accountable. How come you get pulled over as a white man? I know a white dude that done got two D should have got two DUIs. And in one instance he tore up hella shit. Mm -hmm. I mean he totaled the car, knocked over phone poles. They let this man go walk to his house. Mm -hmm. A white boy. Right. My partner. But let me okay, ask you the question. On. No, go ahead, go ahead. Because I can, I can speak on that. I know some shit too. Yeah. I know some motherfuckers the same situation. When you one of me. us goes to be a mm -hmm. police officer, mm -hmm. oh, he a sellout. Oh, he that he one exactly. of them. My brother-in-law, his mama is a police officer. His culture. nickname became Popo because his <laughs> because his mama Once is a police again. officer. Now, <laughs> what, what I'm saying <laughs> is my point. My point is, no, I know. I know. I'm like, you got with you. I so now, as what to what you to your point? Now, I'm a white man. Mm -hmm. I see a white boy. He crash, and you like, dude, you done fucked up. I'm gonna let you go because I know you stupid. Just like I would probably do if I was in that position. And I've seen a, a, a young black man yeah. that i seen hit some shit. I'm going to be like, bro, take your ass to the house. Nigga, you know better than up. You know what I'm saying? What you, what, what, we was, we was kids. But, That's my point. Go ahead, bro. But, but, mm -hmm. but I, I can attest to this shit. Mm -hmm. It's like we got black officers that act just like them. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly because you they you you get hard. you get you get invited to the I'm gonna use you church niggas phrase the upper right. room not even the upper room because no the upper room they call heaven that false shit that they give you Disneyland and never mind you get that later but I'm just saying you niggas get invited to the to the we have cookouts white people have picnics um, sellouts have bargain sales. Um, so when motherfuckers get invited to those other rooms that they wouldn't be involved in with a regular folk, that's why code switching came about. But um, you feel the need to show the people who you mentally think are superior to you that you are able to differentiate just because I'm black doesn't mean I don't see color and I can uh, I can police these niggas and I'm using niggas in a derogatory term right here uh, I can police niggas just like I wasn't a nigga that's the shit once again like I said with the culture once again it's been hijacked mm -hmm. the culture everything has been hijacked everything that we thrive on li live promote and I'm not saying that it's completely false right there is the true fighter rebel uh, entities in in these um, different pockets of who we are. 
that still exists. The majority of it has been monopolized and hijacked. Mm -hmm. And because we're so in the point click shift uh, mentality, we uh, swallow. <laughs> That's just keeping it a buck. We, and, yeah, they, they swallow. And I, once again, I don't know how to say nothing other than the way the fuck I say it. You motherfucking swallow. And, yeah, you swallow. And until. Hey, what they said? Don't get right there before I do. I'm going to use. Because we just had Halloween, what, uh, two, two and a half weeks ago? Remember back in the day we was kids? Remember back in the day we was kids? Because we all had the fake ass mask. Remember the Castro mask? And you had. With the fucking string that really didn't fuck up? Back then, you used to get. You used to go get hella candy. What they start doing? Fucking up how you get what you got. Mm -hmm. Everything that's genuine for us that's prosperous, indigenous, and uh, elevating of us, mind, body, and soul, spiritual, has been infiltrated. And we're so starved for attention, affection, direction, love, emotional support. Um, I'm, I'm really going there tonight. Uh, so many levels of intimacy, and I don't mean sex. And even that realm of it, niggas is starving for that too. But they've infiltrated every resource of nutrient that we uh, biologically need to survive. Yeah, we gotta share it. It's been infiltrated yeah. to where we... We gotta share, we gotta share the shit, man. We, but that's, 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 we consist of that's surviving on fast that's food. That's we can fix, though. It's true. Fix, you are right. We, 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 we continue to uh, subside and substance ourselves on fast food. And I say that metaphorically, fast food, because fast food, but it kills you slow. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just talking about the food you put in your body. Mm -hmm. We are a prisoner of our own mind because we refuse to hold ourselves accountable. To Keisha's point. Yeah. That's real fast. Right. You'll get that tomorrow. That's real fast. Fuck three in the morning. Get that back. <laughs> get that now. <laughs> Game right there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm deeper in the final thought. The Mariner yep, Trench. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all for letting us come in. And hang oh man, we always. Hey, I'm shit. here every time. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we got a lot of shit. Tell us what y'all got going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, like, tell us what's next too, so they can be up on it. Yeah. Well, you know, we got the uh, we got the Sebo show. You know, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. We got and uh, it's at New Pairs concert New at New Pairs. New Pairs. Pairs. If you buy a wristband at the concert, mm -hmm. you get in the after party for free. Nice. Buy a wristband though. Get, get buy a wristband. wristband. Get a wristband. I'm a so double action. You got double action. Yeah, we got uh at so uh, at uh what's that? New Paris concert. New Paris. New Paris. Yeah, show at New Paris, and then the, after party is after at, party at this club in Club in fourteen oh eight Webster Street. The old Street. school uh, mm -hmm. Caribbean, Caribbean city. city. Yeah, old school. So we'll be in there, and on the twenty sixth. Be on the lookout, Juvenile. Be out here. We'll be uh, Juvie. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll be we in open it up. 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 Platform. Uh, platforms. Yeah, Ring my guy. Go I'm check out all the videos. We got up. we got like seven videos we're gonna put out here. 
Uh, we got we got a lot of other stuff coming. We got some go get the start five with Marvelous and Dirty Don. Yep. Um, Marvelous album out, Champion Dirty Don album out, Don, Don Status and Little Marvelous Little album uh, Unstoppable. Uh, go uh, go check those out, man. And that, and that's all we doing right now. Like I said, we have go check out to uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, it's called Evo or Tubi. Uh, it's called yeah, Evo Love Spill Shout out to Hooker Boy. Shout out to Hooker Boy. Trying to, hey, I've been yeah. We Shout out to yeah. Hooker Boy, you little hooker. <laughs> salute. You know me, man. I salute everybody doing what they doing, man. I, man, I want to salute you. I want to say, uh, Keys, rest, Keys. rest Keys. in peace, Biagi. You know, Biagi. Yes, that's my cousin. Biagi, that's the Biagi. first. That's he, his first song was on my album. You know. Yes, man. indeed. Self is clothing yeah. for sure. Self is rest in peace, B. That's my cousin. That's my brother, man. I've been that's my cousin. That's blood. That's blood. That's my. That's my. Rest in peace, Biagi. He's from West Side. He's from West Side. He's from the Murders. I, 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 yeah, well, you know. We know. I don't care what nobody says. Biagi, wherever you see the 20s, you know Biagi was in there. So. That's my love. Biagi, yeah, he said Biagi from East Oak. I said Biagi from West Oak. Right, I mean, he did both, but he started get, get in there. Yeah, and the granddaddy, hey, granddaddy out of 2-4. Yeah, 2-4. Oh, yes, you know, indeed. Uh, you know, uh, Cadillac and everything. You know, uh, Hell yeah. You know, 100%. Yes, all day. Tell him about Banks and Nacho. Yeah, Banks. You know, he, he, he did a couple of tracks on our on our album. He did a few. He did a whole bunch of them. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's but that's he, uh, you know, get better, get better, brother. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Pharaoh Films, too. He got my face. Like Pharaoh I said, he got me. Pharaoh got me in a couple of films, too. But so I'm we still doing, working. Just yeah, I did my debut. Still I did working. my debut on, uh, on one of the Pharaoh movies. That's what's yeah, up, got, though. I got killed. I don't appreciate it. That's all right. We moved you up. Hey, remember back when you came to America, he said, this week I'm on lettuce, next week I'm on pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's, 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 that's when the big butts start coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, if anybody looking to do some work with me, um, can you can find me at Mac Green Music, like I said, M-A-C-R-E-M-M-U-S-I-C-18. Man, I'm, I'm up, I'm, I'm open to help anybody. I ain't, I ain't with the funny shit on this music shit. I want to see everybody blow. So if it's anything I can help you with, just holler at me. Inbox me or whatever, and we can go over it. Like I said, whether it's paperwork showing you how to get registered or whatever, or showing you how to start and get to LLC or whatever, just just tap in with me, man. Like I said, I'm just here for the culture and the community, and everything else is, is nothing if it ain't if it ain't about us. You know what I'm saying? As a people, not you know what I'm saying. If it ain't about us as a people and coming together and making shit what it really supposed to be, then don't come holler at me. But if you serious about trying to yeah. Invest in yourself and your life and your career there because you know. life is short and um, all I got is a little bit of knowledge that I can help you with. So that's, you. that's all I want to say. Thank you, Flash. Thank, thank you, Coach D. You feel me? Yeah. Coach D. That's Coach D. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You I'm in the me? game, like yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's Coach D, man. D in the game, man. Big Twan, where they can find you at? Yeah. Oh, you hear me on Instagram? You know, Big Twan Music. You know, I mean, any for booking, you want you to call me. Uh, I don't know how you gonna call me, but uh, yeah, tell him he what said, you, tell him what he said, I'm gonna tag you. Hey, man, he's boxing me on that. He got to give him the name. Big Twan, B I T T O I N E, music 10 at Instagram. Whatever they got in this bottle of cognac, you need to try some. Fresh. Where they can find me. Oh, you can inbox me on that. Donnie Fresh. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Yeah, Donnie underscore Fresh with two H's. Music on. Every platform, you feel me, man? Well, we got like three, four videos in on YouTube. Yeah. Go tap in the YouTube, Drip Money. We got the podcast coming back. You see my boy, he modeling that shirt. You know, we got the show, <laughs> yeah, exactly. the apparel on the way, Drip, Drip Money. Yeah. yeah, we just we just keeping it going. Yeah, and this your boy, as usual, Camouflage, K-A-M-M-F-L-A-G-E. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, tuning in. A special shout out to all our guests that tune in later. Uh, we yeah. as the majority do. And, uh, you know, I'm going to just say, hey, you can catch us on Facebook Live like you do, yeah. but I also have a YouTube yeah. page, Cognac Confessionals. Man, tune it in, subscribe, like, share the page. If you want to be a guest, uh, holler at me. Uh, you know, you can find me everywhere that you can't be. I'm just joking, but you can find me in your chick's dreams. Why? Because that's where I reside. Because most <laughs> chicks dig fat niggas. Because fluffy lives matter. And gray beards always get it done. And then beard oil is essential when it comes out your bitch. But, no, nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> but seriously, though. No. Hear me, though. 
seriously, I'm just bullshitting, but no, nah, real talk. I enjoy this conversation and I have this platform because I love being able to share minds, expose people to uh, other people because you got an audience that may not know me. I may have an audience that they don't know you. I like to network and make shit happen. And it's never about being on the marquee. Yeah, my face is on the logo because it's my shit. But at the same time, the cowboy gets a ring. And if you want to go somewhere far, go with a group. If you want to go somewhere fast, go by yourself. But if you go by yourself, you'll be a lady with a house full of cats with nothing else to do. Don't let that flow. You don't want that. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Ah. You kidding me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can dig me like a shovel in the motherfucking barnyard. But at the end of the day, they say, believe what I say. And uh, <laughs> thank you wholeheartedly. Uh, believe it. I ain't going to tell you nothing man, other than the truth. More, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ask you no right. questions, I tell you no lies. And dead men don't make money. That, and, and people who told you that is bullshit because Michael Jackson's still making money right now. Mm. But he ain't did. But uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. I want to thank everybody wholeheartedly. Uh, you know, I got other shit to do tonight as usual because I don't sit in one place too long. And uh, and this, uh, everybody, fuck that. Hold on, see. No, okay. let's cheers up before we go. Farrell, Farrell, get your ass in here. Yes, Check out my bro, Phil, Phil's Tiff in the building. Tiff all is in the building as always. Oh, yeah, How about just a splash for me back there? Let's do it. 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 let us so, as we begin to exit on the Scorpio season, let me stand up. Yeah, let's stand up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten, ten toes down. we got to get in. I just want to say, like I said, you know, it's a long ass monologue, and I know y'all like, well, this nigga hurry up and end shit. Cause it's Friday. I know y'all want to go do some shit. But seriously, I want to, uh, like I said, thank you all for coming. I appreciate you, brothers. Do it wide, wholeheartedly. Do it wide. As long as I got you both. I got um, I do them both. I'm not for done. You. Uh, as long <laughs> as I can continue to breathe, you'll always have a platform in my arena. Because it's not just my arena, it's our arena because I'm about us. And uh yeah, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam, bam. Jeez, man. Now it's time to <laughs> say goodbye <laughs> so, to all my Negro <laughs> friends. Hey, catch you <laughs> niggas next week. Deshaun, I need to hey, oh, actually, time. before I go, you niggas better not make no fucking bullshit uh, macaroni and cheese next week. Uh. <laughs>